Twitch chat, what up? It's time for shenanigans, hijinks, and escapades with yours truly. Uh, Peter Practic, Sir Rector, Silent Peanut, Is Gennady, Doofy, Alex Boy, Ketchup, Mandy Geo, Spicy Tuna, Witty Chew, and Wispy One. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Hey, Regis, I saw in a video you were going to be playing other games here and there. We'll be posting VODs on your YouTube channel. Uh, not exactly. I'll be posting VODs on my VOD channel. My, my YouTube VOD channel. So I guess it's a YouTube channel. VODs will never go on the main channel, though. The main channel will always be, like, you know, edited, dedicated content. Uh, but yeah, I got a VOD channel on YouTube if you want to see that. Uh, speaking of which, God, I got to get today's, yesterday's VOD up. Oh, God. That takes forever to process and deal with. Oh, boy. That may not happen soon. Uh, Connor Hermes, dude, thanks to the tier one. Fear sick with the three months as well. What a streak. How do I feel about current standard? Uh, I don't know yet, really. I have a feeling it's going to be frustrating, but we're still a little early, so I don't know. Holding reservation for a day or two at least. Um, oh, audio delay. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. Yeah, I know why. I bet, I bet it's good now. Ba -ba -da. Ventriloquism. Hey, Firebolt. What quests are you feeling are doing best and worst? I think Mage is doing the best. Warlock is maybe number two. Shaman's actually doing well, but people are sleeping on it a little bit. Uh, after that's probably well, Hunter. Boys. Or actually, maybe Rogue and then Hunter. Uh, Priest is bugged, but I don't think it's going to be good even if it gets unbugged necessarily. So. Hey, Firebolt. Nine months is crazy. Thank you. I'm waiting for HS Replay's uh, first United and Stormwind uh, data to roll in. They've like, got some sort of you can find, but they don't have the full filter for Stormwind yet. So we'll, we'll know more uh, at that point. We'll see. D's VC, dude, thanks for the five months. Uh, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, if, you know, we, if we get to a point where we can't beat the good stuff with any fun deck, uh, we'll have to, you know, play it by ear. But uh we'll see i've also got some like real decks today as well from a few lists that like pros had success with and stuff so we'll see if those uh get us some wins as well and then this is uh just a recap this is the multiple guff quest druid it's it's pretty much a meme it's not a real deck it's just uh the idea is to get as many guffs as we can with Northshire Farmers and Mark of the Spike well, Shells and stuff. I mean, we boys, actually can win with this, but it's not a, it's not by design a great deck, I don't think. But that's what this is, just to recap. That Walrus Man, thanks for the Prime sub. Star of the movie Tusk. Crazy movie. I actually saw that in theaters. Uh, Hype Train Active, wow. Thanks to the Hype Train. Okay, let's tempo wicker claw. It's fine. It's not a card we have to get a ton of value out of, so. <laughs> Spicy tuna with a six month advanced tier one sub. What? That's crazy, Spicy tuna. That's really nice, man. I can't uh, decide today if I want to, like, just lean hard into meme decks or if I want to play only real decks. I haven't decided yet. Uh, probably a mix of both, but I'm. I'm not super in love. I actually don't think we need overgrowth this list. It just takes solar eclipse. It's really good. We can draw and then you still have one. Uh, I'm not super in love with playing real decks right now. I don't know. I feel like I just want to play really fun, stupid stuff still. But maybe we'll do both. Little mix. Little mix here and there. Like I have on the plate still. Well, this is the multiple guff deck. I want to do a deck designed around bouncing the uh, scabs quest reward a lot. 
That's probably going to be more meme. Eh, it's usually less. A lot of threes, though, so. Ooh, nice. Baby. We are drawing a lot of cards. Okay, so this is Rome, so that's always less. Guaranteed. Sweet. Man. Big hand right now. Big ol' hand. Uh, da, da, da. Guardian Animals Hunter is definitely a meme. <laughs> We're gonna do meme decks, I guess. I guess that's a meme. The new OTG Diva Hunter. You mean just Lifesteal Diva Hunter with Quest? If that's what you mean, yes, I've seen that. Okay, we can take an extra mark, yeah. Hey, Shipple, thanks. Welcome. What's this quest line again? It's all about it's gaining attack. And getting a big old guff that gains even more attack. And then... Going from there. Uh, TP on my PP. No, dude, I wasn't annoyed with your name. I was memeing. <laughs> you don't, I see your whisper. I wasn't annoyed at all. I think it's funny. No, no, no. I was just memeing, dude. Don't, don't fret. Uh, okay. This can get me a wicker claw, but I could also just save this, right? Let's just save that. Um, I have a good way to get three attack right now. Only through pounce do I easily get three. Let's just, um... Overflow this a little bit. Uh, now I can play for a pounce here. No pounce, but lightning bloom's fine. Okay. Gain armor against Demon Hunter seems really good. Still not ever going to be enough if it's full OTK, but... Mayak thanks for the nine months. This expansion's so cool, I'm struggling to figure out what to play. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that feels kind of busted right now, so it's... If you're wanting to play busted stuff, there's a lot of angles to go. Uh, I think Mage and Warlock are the things people are seeing as the most busted most immediately. But I don't think they're the only busted things by any means. So... Let's see what card we draw here. It might change my mind a little bit what, what we do next. Pounce, actually, uh, I can only get to five right now. So Pounce isn't really that interesting. Let's just Nobleman for Tempo. Another Solar Eclipse, my God. I have so many Solar Eclipses in this game. Um, so yeah, I can still only do five. I need another card. My God, I have so many Solar Eclipses. <laughs> Three in hand, and I already played one. Oh boy, this is a problem, baby. Okay, a lot of damage incoming. That thing kind of needs to die, but I don't have an easy way to deal with stuff like that in the stack. Uh, this could maybe get me something easy to deal with it. Mm, do I solar eclipse this to find more resources? I have so many solar eclipses, I, I think so, right? Uh, Moon Touch is, is definitely good for us. You're kidding me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I guess. Uh, do I have an easy way to corrupt this and still, this is going to be an actual three mana play. I guess I can go Northshire to corrupt that. The only problem is the... Discount's gonna be weird. Gonna have to bloom, but then the discount gets all wacky, right? Uh-oh. Did I mess this up? Maybe we don't actually need to do that. Maybe we just do this and face tank it and get the quest done. Yeah, I think this is actually better. We can take eight, because Goff's going to give me a ton of armor over the next couple turns. I mean, I don't love taking eight against Demon Hunter, but Goff into a bunch of bounces, right? Like, I'm going to get two more Goffs back in hands. I'm going to have some giant taunts. I'm going to gain, like, you know, it's 24 armor already accounted for, basically, with a Tintin taunt every turn. 
Hopefully that's enough to stop any sort of Illidari onslaught here. Maybe it won't be still, who knows, but. Secret Mage and Odd Demon Hunter still popular and wild. Interesting. Didn't see a lot of disruption then? Did they gain any new tools? No new mage secrets, at least. Ah, oh, man, the guff kind of getting a little wrecked here, but. Solar Eclipse Mark. Two more guffs. <laughs> Two golden guffs, in fact. I'm back to 26 with a. Tw oh, it's a 12 12 because I got double buffs, of course. Oh my god. I. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, yeah. Sick. It's a big menu to deal with for Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is traditionally not great at these kinds of stats, right? Demon Hunter normally has problems with this stuff. Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter. Deal with guff. I doubt they're going to be able to go over the top successfully either. Like... What do you even start doing to deal with this? I can go double guff for 16 next turn. Uh, I have some potential lethal outs, right? Because I can also bloom. Is he going to just chip through this? Man. About the early meta? Uh, I don't know yet, ham sandwiches. Uh, it seems like I think a lot of people are going to be frustrated by mage and and Warlock. That's about the only take I have at the moment. I'll probably know more today. I I felt like yesterday we didn't run into anything too crazy or too frustrating, but I, I could definitely see that going differently. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. This is just so insane. <laughs> Three more cups in hand. <laughs> um... Let's just go face, right? I mean, what is he going to do? <laughs> oh, this is a good deck, dude. This is a good deck. 12-12 guff on board. Three extra guffs in hand. I've already played a guff. Could even get more. This is pretty much the dream. Wait, what? He's got, he's got to get through this, but even if he does, I just got three more. Oh, this is the best. This is a super fun deck. Oh my god, that is not gonna feel good. Uh, yeah, he knows he's dead, right? So, GG. Oh no, I get to do it again. No way. I give up lethal if I go this route. Is it worth it? <laughs> no, it's not worth it to give up lethal, but I could have done it again. I had another solar eclipse mark at the spike shell. <laughs> I think I could have got to six guffs. Is that six? No, seven guffs. Because each one made two copies. I did it. I could have done it three times. Plus the original guff would have been seven guffs this game. If I hadn't, if I hadn't taken the lethal, if I'd BM'd a little more. Seven guffs. That is equivalent to 56 attack and 56 armor, right? Jeez. Wait, eight times seven is 56. Is that right? That doesn't sound right. Eight times nine is 56. What's eight times seven? 42? That doesn't sound right either. I don't remember my multiplication tables anymore. My God, seven times. That is 56, right? I'm really bad at <laughs> multiplication tables. Eh, what are you going to do? Nature seeks balance. What are you going to do? All right. Uh, yeah. This looks good. Made it to plot for the first time with Death Team Hunter. Do you have any tips? Uh, just keep going. It's a good deck. You'll keep winning. I would say, uh, uh, I don't, I don't know if you're playing like the full Nazoth list or, or what, but just mulligan aggressively for your death rattles, probably. I think that's all you need. Why no guff skin? Well, it'd be weird to be guff playing guff. So we're playing his uncle. His uncle, Hamul. To like, uh, you know, keep it in the family. How's guff going to play himself? That's weird. It's like a episode of Loki or something. 
I don't need all these variants running around. <laughs> Guff playing with himself. Yeah. <laughs> who wants to watch Guff playing with himself? Not me. There's probably some people out there who would enjoy it when I can see on Twitter, but not me. I'm protesting too much. <laughs> I definitely don't want to watch Guff. <laughs> I'm making it way too suspicious. <laughs> It's definitely not me. I don't know who does, but it's I am not the person. I'm sure of that. It's it's absolutely not me. Somebody else. Angle door. I can't read that out loud, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Made me laugh. So much armor, dude. I uh, still have a race to happen here, though, right? Like, it's gonna be tough to beat. Regardless. <laughs> Get to beat up any mages for us? I don't know. This stick feels like it could be well positioned against mage, potentially. Just a lot of armor gain and damage. I haven't, we haven't played one yet though. But it feels like it could be. You know, I built this deck as a meme, but so far we're still 50 50 with it. And I think the one game we lost was like super close. One of the two games we lost. So I bet this deck can uh, actually put in some work. The demon, seed. the demon seed. Does this die? Oh my god. Please tell me this lives. No, so you're off the top. Would have been so sick. Uh, it's not really time yet to go for this. So let's uh, just keep rolling. We like innervate bog beams. I mean, I don't know. Bog beams gonna be hard to use. Pounce, nice. Okay. So solar clips pounce, hero power finishes the next step. We want to. It's not always the best play, but probably just rather solar clips the moon touched, even if it wastes a little bit. Uh, actually, I don't know how this works. If I go pounce and then solar clips moon touched, because the solar eclipse is repeating the effect, does the does the quest register that in between the solar eclipses, or does it does it fully resolve the solar eclipse doubling and then? the quest registers, right? Does the quest pause in the middle? It does not. Okay. So this would be sneaky good if it if it did that in the middle. So far I, I think we can still do this. It's just pretty dude good. Paladin. Oh, really? Dude Paladin's working. That's nice. That kind of surprises me honestly. Uh okay, we'll still just do this. It's, you know, we're basically floating 3 or whatever. But it's okay. Just keep the pressure on, right? Okay. My deck I'm using is a hybrid mix of Death Rattle, Nazoth, and Inquisitor. Sure, yeah, that sounds like the pretty standard Nazoth stuff. Yeah, I was just saying, make sure you get your early curve. Don't. Greed, uh, Nazoth and all that stuff. Let that fall into your deck naturally. Play aggressively. I haven't played that deck as much as, uh, I played, uh, Death on Demon Hunter with an Ilganoth package that basically made any matchup winnable, which was pretty cool. I would have more insights if you're playing that, but. Watching Trump's new quest paladin video was just pressing. What, why, what happened? Did he not win or something? I did not see it. Uh, less is actually slightly more likely, I think, although it's close, I bet. A lot of threes, so often whiffs, right? Okay, so that finishes quest with pounce. We might as well. Let's just keep the pressure rolling, right? We also have Northshire and Mark. Mm. I don't 
don't really want any of these. They all seem sort of useless. This may be like a damage buff or something. I don't know. Uh, we probably go Mark first. Uh, and then we can Northshire the turn after, right? Oh, I do have uh, Northshire plus Living Seed, but I still have quite a few beasts in the deck. So we're not guaranteed to get a guff by any means. So probably don't want to risk that just yet. Ba -ba -da. Do we know when standard cards rotate? We, we do. It's in April. Well, I mean, assuming it stays the same as always, but it's always the first expansion of the year, which is generally in late March or early April. First week of April. Hmm. Have you had a change of opinion on Demon Hunter Quest? Uh, I, I don't know. It, it's I think it's going to be played in, in Lifesteal Demon Hunter, but... As good as Lifesteal Demon Hunter is at the top levels of play among like GMs and super, super high legend, it's never good at lower ranks. I don't know if the quest is going to be enough to change that, so it might be played in a tier four deck across, you know, variety, a majority of Hearthstone players. Uh, but it might be good at super high ranks, right? That, that can be a different metric, so. I guess we'll see. If it's if it's played as a non-fundamental card in a tier four deck, that's probably still technically a three-star card. So I guess that would still technically exceed my expectations, if only, you know, barely. If only barely. Do we uh like innovated guess the weight here? Next turn I can go Guff Northshire still on curve I, I guess so I, I don't know what i'm really looking for but uh more probably care more about the cards that are more anyway so sad i mean i'm at 63 life we have uh, we're gonna have some time even if this warlock does their thing right like you know i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have a minute here and i can just go guff mark again I don't even need to go Northshire now. That's going to be 10 damage on its own. They got to clear this first guff. It's pretty cool. You can shuffle guffs. Yeah, this is a beast. This shuffles beast. So you can shuffle three guffs into your deck. Which is pretty hilarious. Hey, Ferdy thanks for the four months. That's amazing. He's a Roshio. Fresh out of the oven. Do -do -do -do. Uh, Sir Omagen, are you just looking for a code, my dude? Here. You're kind of going the long way around to a code, I think. I don't upload the deck on out of cards, so I'm done playing it. I don't, I don't want to upload bad decks or incomplete decks, so. I just wait to play it a minute, you know? All right, we go Guff again. Nobody messes with my Back to 71. Uh, resizing pouch is pretty good for us, generally speaking. Okay. I don't know if we actually resizing now. We might wait a minute. We don't really need a pounce right now. Have a lot of fun with Quest Warrior? Yeah, I love the idea of Quest Warrior. I hope I can find a list that's fun and rewarding to play that's a little slower. I love the idea of Juggernaut so much. What would I say the best deck I've played is? Uh, well, we went 10-0 with my Bolner OTK, but I don't think it's actually going to end up being, you know, like a tier one list or anything. Uh, I think Fatigue Warlock was the best thing I played. I haven't played it since launch. I played it pre-release. We've been playing weirder stuff since launch since I played most of the kind of core quest decks and archetypes pre-launch. Uh, so, you know, I have a bit of a different path hmm. interesting no heals but just getting a free one i guess oh they still got another one so i have 10 damage next turn at least do i go for the guff draw immediately next turn though i think so right these are all pretty good soul shear oh they did have well, they're going to heal off the second one the same as they would have off the first one, so... What difference does it make? Or was that the second one? Why? 
Oh, that was the second one they beat. Oh, I see. Oh, and this is also not 10 cards because they shuffled two soul fragments in. Oh man, that turn fell apart. And I think it gave me lethal. They have, tw right, that's 20. This is uh, 12 and eight, yeah. That turn kind of fell apart on them. That happens. When one thing goes wrong, everything goes wrong, you know? Cool. I think we were gonna win this game anyway because I had 83 armor and I had up to four more guffs easily. It was gonna take them a long time to burn me through fatigue and I was probably just gonna win off guffs by the time they did, right? Maybe just save themselves some time there. I think we were, I think we were gonna be in a good spot. This deck's cool, by the way. I, it's supposed to be a meme, but we just keep winning. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. It's it's inconsistent in a way because I built in all these greedy plays, but the the stabilization off the greed is real because the guff stabilization is just so insane. It's kind of cool. We're actually up to four and two with this deck, despite it being uh, again. I thought for jokes. Thought it was a goof deck. Uh, yeah, we need to do better, right? I need, those aren't terrible, frankly, but oh, this is actually worse. I don't need this yet. This is again, we got back, so. Do, do, do. I feel like this quest is really well positioned against mage and warlock. I mean, I guess warlock we did lose to still. But I think it's like the faster warlocks we were losing to, the like more zooey looking warlock as opposed to like a more fatigue miracle-y looking warlock like the one we just played. So I don't know yet, but but gaining a ton of life and dealing a bunch of direct damage is good against mage because they can't heal and they're trying to outrace you. So armor slows them down. And then warlock, they have to be careful with their health total because you suddenly get a lot of different breakpoints because uh, you know, if they go to 12 or something, you might just blow them up. So I don't know. I think it has a chance to, to be pretty good against a couple meta decks, but we need to play more warlocks because I'm not totally sure. After playing since FNF testing, I think this is the first time I've seen a non-token druid top out their curve at six. Good. Perfect. I'm, I'm breaking molds. <laughs> I'm breaking the molds here. Uh... Do, 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 do. Uh, Giga, it, <laughs> I, I, I literally said uh, I'm not making assumptions. Uh, you, you seem very defensive, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a good game, dude. Don't worry. Thanks for thanks for the good game. Good matchup. Uh, let's go. These noblemans are a little bit awkward right now. I just realized you can do infinite noblemans. I've never noticed that before, but it's kind of cool if you think about it. You could just have one of these in hand and just, <laughs> just go forever, I guess, right? Like infinite resources. <laughs> I don't think it's good. But you could. Nobleman is overkill? You think so? I I don't I, I feel like it's getting slept on. I feel like it's just a another uh venomous scorpion almost. In some ways, maybe even better than venomous scorpion, I think. Uh I want a hero power here, so I don't really want to nobleman yet, I guess. Moon touched, okay. So moon touched, I need a I need a pounce. Back to 34 after eating a fireball. I think that's good news. Hopefully that's enough. We have Another fireball incoming already, okay.
kind of want to take a nourish turn, but I a double moon touch would be really sick. Can't take too long to get to the goth because still at 24 already. Ooh, Park Panther Moon Touch is really good. Okay. The Corrupt is so good here. Finishes quest, gains me life. Puts them at 10 already too, so Guff is like almost lethal. And copy Guff over two turns. Be back to like, I'm at 30. I'll be back to 38 next turn. It's pretty good. I love how you pronounce Scorpion. I, I, it's the first time I said the word scorpion. It's it's venomous scorpid. How do you say scorpid? If you hand buff nobleman, you essentially go infinite with big copies, right? Um, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, actually, that's kind of a cool idea. Just each of these getting, process. like, you know, make them ten tens or something. That's kind of a neat idea. Ignite. God, there's still so much damage coming through. I've yielded for a ton already. Okay, uh, I can go for a... Oh, I can't actually easily go for a... I was going to say we could go for a Pounce Lethal, but actually I'm at a weird mana total. Surely 28's enough, right? I say that, but <laughs> surely 28's enough, right? Uh, surely it's enough. They've already double fireballed. They've already double rune dorm. So it's really just ignites that are left. I think. I mean, I don't guess I, I really have a better play anyway, right? The only thing I could do is push for a lethal, but I don't even know what it would be because I can't get to pounce off the resizing. So I don't think it really matters. I guess there's some question about whether or not you hit the minion, but I need to make sure I have the win next turn, so. That seven could go face, but I doubt it will. Well, we'll see, I guess. Apexus is still actually pretty expensive, so it's got to be like cheap ignite cycling, I think, that's enough to get to 28, right? Because it's like... Apexus would be four. That's half your mana, right? It's only dealing eight. You would need like two Apexuses and a... Or Apexus double ignite or something insane. I don't even know what it would be, right? It would be some just obscene combo. Thankfully, that is not the case. Nobody messes with my Bum -ba -da. Man, this is like... I, I don't think the... I don't think the doubling your guff is a meme. I thought it was a meme at first. I thought like three or four guffs was just for fun. But it's actually the multiple guffs that's winning us the game every single time. One guff isn't getting the job done. But three or four guffs? It's always getting the job done. Man. Hamul versus Nazar. Awakening the nightmare. Okay. Good curve again. Let's get another test here against Warlock. I'm still not really sure where this deck stands against Warlock. That last dude we had like 85 health or something against. But he still came in trash talking. It was weird. He left. I just checked, but that was so strange. <laughs> he, I mean, he might have. I mean, it's not like he couldn't have won the game. It's just so weird how he came in threatening us. It's so strange. Anyway. Side check, but I don't I don't know where we actually stand against Warlock. As I was saying, as he was trash talking us. Sorry, we don't have as we demolished him. <laughs> I feel bad, but uh, I think this is scarier. Right? I think I think these like faster, more tempo-y versions, as opposed to the more miracle-y versions, are more scary. I mean, this might be a miracle versions. I don't know, but I'm more worried when they get early stuff down. 
and less worried about like mithril rods and everything like that takes a while to get rolling i think we can kind of get out ahead of that more like see this is a really scary start this makes me far more nervous this looks horrifying do we just moon touch here to kill that thing probably i hate losing the armor though right now we're not really on pace uh To make cool plays to get quest on like we're just we're in a we're in a tough spot uh we have not seen a single masquerade rogue since we went live we saw a bunch in the theory crafting event which was really fun that was really surprising and fun but since then no i don't I think Masquerade's gonna be a great card, you know. I think it's probably slightly better than people are anticipating, but I don't think it'll be a good card. Man, these noblemen's <laughs> like the pounces is actually sick if I can hit a pounce off nobleman, but I wanna wait till I can do two, three drops in a return. This is gonna get stuck for a bit, isn't it? Uh do I coin a hero power? No. Let's wait. Let's wait. I really hope I don't copy the bog beam. That would be sad. Yeah, this more Zooey deck seems way harder for me to beat, right? They're just gonna get too much minion pressure. I can't keep up with all this minion pressure. I need them to sit back and do the miracle stuff so I can just hit them in the face a lot. When they get minion pressure like this, it's gonna be really hard for me to recover. Especially when they're clearing my poisonous guys so easily. What is the least powerful quest line? Probably gotta say Paladin right now. I don't know though. We need more data. This is this is brutal for this list. I can't. I'm just never gonna recover this. I'm just super dead. He doesn't even need the quest. He's just playing Zoo against uh, Zoo against Druid is the dream, right? Okay, did get the other pounce. Does that help me stay up here? Pounce again? Pounce again, okay. Like, do I try to raise face? Uh, put them at 18. I don't have quest even next turn. I don't think I can. I think I'm dead though. I don't even know if that really helps because they might be able to fill their mana pretty easily anyway. Oh God. Okay. Probably a good thing that I did that. Uh, so what they got? They got 11 on board. I'm at, I'm at 21. They need 10 damage from here. My bog beam is still very expensive. I need, I need like, I don't know, even Solar Eclipse isn't good enough to get Pounce to the point I need to. Mark is way too slow. Sonarian Ward is two turns off. It's just not gonna be enough, right? Uh, I mean, I'm technically alive. But what am I gonna? I mean, I I don't I don't have anything next turn. Is there anything that lets me play Guff? No, because everything is three mana to get to four attack, which means I can't get a Guff down. Which means that healing's gone. Uh, can I corrupt the Moon Touch? No, I could get Feral Rage for armor. Just try to buy a turn into Scenarian, but now that's done. I'm so dead. I mean, I'm literally dead. Uh, sure, that's lethal, right? And tap was too off lethal. I guess they don't, it's not like they need it, right? <laughs> what difference does it make? I think there's nothing left to keep me in this. Uh, yeah, just tap and any damage here is good enough. Bumpana. Yeah, people were really hard on Guff because he didn't have like an end of game effect or whatever. This deck's cool. I 
this deck is a nightmare for us. I will never beat this zoo warlock. I wonder if this is gonna end up being the better the better thing. The the miracle list is cool, but I wonder if it's too slow. That zoo list seemed like it was advancing the quest at a totally normal pace. But also developing tempo, right? Also just pressuring. Uh so, I don't know. I mean, I, I think they did have a mix of, like, removal and minions, and we saw mostly their minions as opposed to the removal. Maybe, maybe depending on the matchup, that could kind of backfire. But I have a feeling that's going to end up being really good. Okay. Mage again. Just I think we just want to push quest ASAP against Mage, right? Get armor as much as we can. I need armor. These need to turn into armor. Which attack turns into armor, so that's fine. How many buff guffs are enough if buff guffs are that tough? I, I don't know the answer, but I like where your brain's at. <laughs> I like where you're at, sir. I uh, don't want any of these, really. Uh, wild growth is, like, theoretically helpful, I guess, but not really. Uh, resizing pouch, sure. Uh, let's wait and just wild growth resizing next turn. I almost kind of need this resizing to turn into something bigger than. Oh, really? Interesting. Huh. This might get counterspelled, but it's frankly not the end of the world. Okay. Pounce. Yeah. Okay. Solar Pounce finishes, but I think we'd almost rather always Solar Feral. Although we did determine Solar Feral does not break across the quest, or at least that's what chat tells me, which I'm inclined to believe that. Uh, Nobleman Solar Pounce is pretty good next turn, actually. Pretty likely the Nobleman turns into something cool. You kind of hate using Solar on Pounce because it doesn't have an armor component, but I would need exactly Moon Touched to change that. And I still advance quest, so that's the important thing. Rome would be pretty bad here off the nobleman. I think I'd like to see a pounce or fail rage. Fail rage is, is fine, I think. Okay. This might be a barrier. We're going to have to figure that out at some point, right? Uh, it's, it's not the end of the world. Hopefully we can just sort of out armor until, you know, until we get just a, a critical mass of damage, basically. 38's not materially different than 30 when you've got 12 guffs in your deck, you know. Oh, was it a Frost Secret? Oh, okay. You guys are so much better at paying attention to that than I am. Man, so it's always barrier, yeah. I do not pay that much attention. Okay. Rome solid here, yeah. This is a bad Apexis target, unfortunately. So that's the only downside to Rome here, but still got to do it. Ugh. It's big. Too big, actually. Uh, For five mana, I can go for quest. I guess maybe we guess the weight. Feral Rage Hero Power here. I kind of hate leaving that 4-6 up. But I don't have a great answer ever. I mean, Venomous Scorpid theoretically gets some answers, I guess. But not really a druid, right? Let's just keep this rolling. Wish that died, right? If it was 5 health, I'd kill it. Okay, we don't have any, uh, oh, never mind. We do have a guff shuff. I was going to say we don't have a guff shuff, but, uh, oh my gosh, Sh guff shuffle, guffle shuffle. <laughs> it's like the truffle shuffle, but it's the guffle shuffle. <laughs> That's the video intro, the guffle shuffle, dude. The guffle shuffle. Do, do, do. You guys are getting so many rhymes right now in chat, and I absolutely love it. I want to be a part of it. I want to shuffle guffle with you. 
All right, so Feral Rage is currently still not actually a lethal push. I mean, a quest push. See what we find off this. Living Seed could get me a Park Panther, but it could also get me a Wicker Claw, which by the way, I'm still not totally sure. I think the Wicker Claw is the correct thing, just to, just to say that. Saving this for a uh, Scorpid. Oh, but I just played both Scorpids. Scratch that. I'm <laughs> saving this for Boys, something else. <laughs> I don't know what this is for. <laughs> Maybe a guff. I'm not sure. It's not for a Scorpid, though. I can tell you that. Uh, Maybe it's one of these. Maybe it's another Scorpid here. This is going to put me at nine. Not a Scorpid, but a Fel Rattler is pretty cool. Need a pounce here. Yep, pounce is sick. Okay, so now I can go pounce Feral Rage next turn to get a guff. And I can actually play the guff, but I wouldn't be able to shuffle the guff yet. So I probably want to hold the guff next turn. Do we pounce now? Is there any reason to do that? I could use it to test a counter spell. I don't think so. I don't think he's got counter spell, but I don't think there's any advantage to doing it now. It doesn't do anything on board or anything. Why not just brain freeze one of my minions? I guess I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they both died, but... Am I, is there a five head line I'm not seeing here? I mean, why not just leave that up to attack? I don't understand. Uh, hey, where's he? Thanks a hundred bits, dude. Your 1525 rushing yards and 27 touchdowns will not be forgotten. <laughs> So Coach Dave Shula screw wrong. you and your crappy steakhouse. Thanks to the sports stats though, where's B for the hundred bits. His mini was frozen, so the flames hurt it less. I like that logic. Yeah, that's I'm gonna go with that. That makes sense to me. So this finishes scuff, like we said. Um I still actually have quite a bit of uh Quite a bit of life at this stage, which is pretty sweet. We'll start copying Guff's next turn. Uh, for now, I guess we just kill that and develop a dude. I don't know. Next turn, we Guff into Shell Shell, probably, just because it's on curve. Then we can Guff... Northshire Living Seed freely. It's only a one and it'll be a three out of seven, I guess, to draw Guff at that stage, but Okay. Now I just have to outrace a quest, right? Then we'll be done. Uh alright. That is a little risky with mirror entity. Counter spells also a little risky. If it's mirror entity, I could fell rattler through it. Oh, never mind. I think I got to play around mere entity, right? I think I just got to. I got 10 mana, so I can snake and still get one shell down. It's fine. Just to be totally safe, right? We definitely don't want to summon an 8-8 taunt, so. Oh, not a mere entity. Okay. Uh, we might still see a netherwind portal here or a counter spell. Do I hold in case of counter spell because that's my last guff? I think so, right? I think we test counter spell this turn. I must and then hold. Think. Actually don't know what's good. What's what's a good breakpoint for us? Yeah, we'll just do it now. We we think it's we think it's counter spell, so it doesn't really I, I don't Tobin, uh, sometimes I now would uh, want to pounce, but I don't need pounces Not anymore. I need just other stuff. I don't actually know what I even need. I don't know what the best uh, -E -E breakpoint even is. Uh, white beans, sure, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Holy barrier again, right? Those, those trades felt terrible, but they're just it's just what it is. I don't want a minion up because I care way less about that board than I care about taking four damage. So just get rid of it. 
Okay, um, yeah. Now we can do this story all over again. <laughs> White mains what I ended up by. That's so crazy. Ba -ba -na. Uh, where's beef again? Thanks for the hundred bits, man. We got so much dairy here, dude. This is the legend dairy stream for sure. Man, these ignites are gonna be tough to outrace, honestly. So I'm only really healing eight per turn. This seven seven is kind of in the way too. This is scary. Oh, stop! This is gonna be tough. The, the the secrets there really slowed me down. Man, it might be. Oh my god! Stop! Stop, bro! I, oh my god! I'm dead. I can't. I'm so dead next turn. They're gonna draw so many ignites. Yeah, I, man, maybe we had to ignore those secrets, but I, that feels so wrong too, right? You can't just ignore those secrets. I don't know. We'll see if this is enough, right? Next turn, I can only deal 16, so I actually sort of have to keep the minion alive. If I'm alive, I think I'm just gonna die to ignites, right? But technically, if I'm alive, I can only deal 16. But it's another heal 16, so that's kind of cool. But I am super dead. And Quest Mage OP, dude. You know this so crazy how much damage I took. How much did we heal this game? We healed 10 naturally off Quest. Guff was another eight. That's 18. I have 48 health to work with. I don't think I took any minion damage, right? It was all spell damage, healing 48 because the ignites. So nuts. And I didn't even really go that slowly. I mean, maybe a little slower that game because the secrets really disrupted us. Maybe we just had to assume no mirror entity, but it's like mirror entity is such a risk when you just got your guff, right? Your opponent is like thinking exactly you have an 8 8. So I think we had to respect the reality. It'd be crazy not to, wouldn't it? I think it'd be insane not to. Okay, another mage. Who could have guessed? So we've beaten one quest mage, we've lost to another. I just, I don't know yet. We'll, we'll get more data points here. Uh, you have two scenario words. I think that sounds reasonable, man. I. I guess I will say uh, we have been, I, I guess in this particular list, by the time we're getting to turn eight and nine, we've usually had guff done and are playing multiple guffs. I think I would rather usually play a guff than a scenarian ward. Uh, but I don't know. I, again, I built this as a meme, but it's like sort of winning. So I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I, I think the multiple guff thing is actually legit. It's just such a good play every time. So I don't know if that answered your question satisfactorily at all. Probably not. Uh, I'm going to leave that minion up for the Park Panther to attack next turn. Aw, same cost. That said, you know, if, if you built this without, like... The meme stuff, maybe you just have a more consistent early game and you'd be able to stabilize into the scenario wards. So I could easily envision a counterpoint, right? I could see it going both ways. Marvelous. What deck is the most unfun to go against so far? Ah, uh, maybe quest mage. I don't know. Uh, Fatigue Warlock, I I think is more fun to go against, I guess, because it uh, it does feel like you know they're hurting themselves, and you kind of have this like chance to kill them. I don't, Quest Mage, it doesn't feel quite as risky for them to execute their game plan, you know. Like it feels like they're just doing whatever they want, and you don't really interact much with it. So I guess that kind of sucks. I need stuff here. I really need stuff. Real Rage is stuff. That's awesome. It's also going to be one mana, which is super sick. 
Oh, actually, though, right now I only need one attack. So never mind. I don't want to play that right now. Ah, I need the hero power first. Okay, we'll do that next turn. That's fine. We'll just bank these discounts. So next turn we hero power. We finish the first half. We feral reach. A pounce would finish the second step. Have you seen the new burn rogue? Uh, if you mean... And you, you guys got to use better descriptors when you're asking me if I've seen decks. Uh, if you mean like uh, Garot plus uh, auctioneer stuff or sometimes sub auctioneer stuff. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what you mean, though. You got to give me like give me the name of the deck and like three or four cards in it that you think like really make the deck stand out because I've looked at like a hundred deck lists since yesterday. I'm just kind of trying to filter the ones I presume are most visible to, to help me figure out which ones you guys mean. Oh God. Oh God. I forgot to hear about this. Whew. Did you see that Close. deck that runs 30 cards? <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, listen, I'm happy to answer. You know, I'm not trying to discourage you from asking. I just, it's hard for me to place which ones you're talking about. Usually, you know, man, I should have actually played Wicker Claw. Uh, oh no. Nature studies is good. Okay. Sweet. Pounce, pounce. Yes. Okay. Scratch the wicker claw. It sucked. What do we draw? Anything that matters? I don't pounce, so I don't think so. Okay. Uh, how do I get to six from here? I have nothing in hand that actually contributes to my quest. Oh boy. Uh, hey, Fabager, thanks for the 36 bits. That's awesome. Don't don't minimize your bit contribution. That's very kind. That's probably equivalent to watching like 100 YouTube videos. <laughs> so <laughs> don't uh, actually probably more like 200. I, I have to do the math real quick, but. Uh, <laughs> Steven, I'm just trying to try my best, man. All right, let's find a pounce here. Otherwise, I'm just going to five, which is a little slow. No pounce, but this could be a pounce. Oh, I could also get a living seed, but I like I like the pounce better. Let's let's find a pounce. No pounce, man. I don't want either of these. These both suck. So there's no reason to overload. All right, we'll just set it up for next turn. Hero power will get me there next turn, so. Hero power. I don't want to play the guff next turn though, so probably gonna just like wicker claw hero power. That's a really bad turn. Hopefully they don't do anything crazy here. Uh, me not playing minions, by the way, has probably stalled out their quest a little bit. They probably have a lot of stuff that needs to interact with minions and they don't have any good ways to do that. So that's handy. It's one advantage of this deck. We can just sort of go face. It's probably why he's emoting as well. So I'm just not playing yeah. minions. I saw your YouTube vids about the new quest and really enjoyed them and stuck on awesome. your channel. Awesome, Martyrian. Wow, dude, thanks. Up, laughing face. Oh boy. Oh god. 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 Oh boy. Maybe they'll fatigue out here and I'll just kill them next turn. I have nine. I guess ignites fix that problem as long as they have mana, but they may not cast the ignites. Who knows? Oh my god, are they gonna burn their quest accidentally? That would be amazing. They could easily burn quest. Oh my god, are they gonna burn quest? How do you not burn quest here? They don't need quests, they can just win off ignites, but as long as the auctioneer's alive, you you gotta kill the auctioneer first. Oh, pounce is sick. Uh, that's 10, 11 damage. But the more important thing perhaps is that it gives me a... Oh my. Copy on the guff. The question I have here is, is do I need... to kill the auctioneer or am I actually better off leaving it up? They're gonna burn a card. 
If they want to play Dawn Grasp, they only have enough mana for two Ignites. So I think I just go face, right? Nobody messes with my friends. I don't know. This is up too, though. Oh, I don't know. They did burn one Ignite. Okay, well, that's pretty much awesome. They can always ping this off, but again, that just takes mana. I think I'm okay to leave it up. If they cast a frost spell right now, they fill their hand and burn quests, right? No, they're gonna cast fire first. Okay, but their hand's still full. Oh, but it won't be now, because Auctioneer. Auctioneer's out. So now they get the quest. But what did they do to stay alive? Snap freeze. Oh, that's brutally good. Ignite. No dawn grass first though. Maybe need to get like a barrier through or something. Oh, okay. Sure, like that. It's good news. <laughs> Negative one. <laughs> I don't want to hover because that's so funny looking. Or am I just DC'd? Oh my god, I'm DC'd. What? No. Not like this! Unable to reconnect to your game. Are you serious? No, what? I'm not even DC'd on my computer. I can, the internet's fine. No! Hearthstone! Yeah, I know. I think he was super dead, but I'm sad I don't get to see it. I, I want to see him suffer. <laughs> My computer's fine. I just, it was that was a Hearthstone thing. I never lost it or not. I was watching over here. Welcome. Resuming your last game. It's just gonna come back to the winning screen. Let's do it. Oh yes, we get to be up. Cool. Okay. Beautiful. Masterful BM. He thought I was just such a jerk right there. He was like, dude, he's such a jerk. He just killed him being me hard. He really slow rolled that lethal. Okay, cool. He must have put that ignite back in his stack. Definitely not enough to kill me though. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, I think we're done with this, guys. We actually had a lot of really cool games at this list. Uh, we actually won a fair bit too. Uh, I, I'm having fun playing it. I'd kind of like to keep at this, but I need to. I need to get more decks done. Um, but this is definitely a winnable deck. It's not going to be your best deck. But it's fine. Slight problem. None of those decks are wild. The superior format. <laughs> is that a big problem, huh? Oh, what a problem. Thanks for the bits, no, Sam. Uh, okay. Somebody wants to be my friend. They think I BM'd them. Uh. Welcome, boys. Make some multi golf is done. Uh, okay. Next up, I want to make something fun. Actually, hold up. Let me check and see if HS Replay has data yet for Stormwind. Only sorta. They don't have their Stormwind filters out yet. Okay. Uh, I want to make actually similar in that deck to theme, but uh, a little different. I want to make a rogue deck where we bounce scabs a lot. Or alternatively, there's another thing we could do if you want. Maybe I'll let you guys decide. Do we want to try to steal our opponent's quest rewards? How do you spell thief? Let's let's do that where we steal our opponent's quest rewards. Hey, Pacify, thanks for the prime sub, dude. Um, let's do it. Let's do a steal our opponent's crap deck. So basically, uh, a couple ways to do this, hilariously enough. <laughs> We're going to end up stealing their stuff and then not be able to win, but I don't care. 
That's fine. I guess I shouldn't say steal. I should say copy to be to be totally transparent. Uh, yeah, so basically this. Would Elusia be better? Only if your opponent doesn't play at the same turn, which I don't think is going to happen much. If they're playing Priest in particular. I mean, it might happen occasionally, but... Maestra? I mean... Uh, I don't really need a Maestra, but... Maybe it's okay. What else do I put in here? Maybe I, um... What else is good? Plagiarize. Oh yeah, plagiarize. Yeah. Yeah, plagiarize is good. Maybe we go full fun. secret package then. Yeah, I'm not opposed to funsies. L let me think about it for a minute. I want to see how many cards we fit in first naturally and stuff. Uh, we also need to think about maybe ways to pay off our opponent's quest. So, like, I probably want to run, for instance, like some burst damage if we play for mage. Uh, we have weapon if we play for warlock. And those are definitely going to be the two most common quests that we see. So especially good to copy the paladin quest line. All those recruits <laughs> that get two two. Yeah. I could I could be Maestra into Paladin and then copy a paladin and then never play another rogue card. It's perfect. Um Yeah, I guess I'll do a secret package. I think that's fine. Uh Gives us stuff to do. What else do we want in here? Maybe like some preps, some secret passage stuff. Uh, wand thieves are probably always okay. Get some mage secrets, maybe. Let's just toss in the Meister. Why not? It's fun. It's for memes. Shenanigans, kind of funny, but I don't think it's good enough. Uh, what else would help us here? Anything else that fits the game plan? Maybe Spark Joy. Just for a good card. Don't have any three drops. I have a lot of two drops right now. Oh my god. Maybe I don't need Swindle. I've got I've got uh, this and Secret Passage. Uh, I don't hate Cheese Guy, but I don't think I need it necessarily. We could go Potion of Illusion to add to the shenanigans, but we're already so greedy. I think the real problem is actually going to be like staying alive after playing like the Mage Quest. Maybe we just take Cloak of Shadows. That doesn't help against Warlock though at all. How are we actually going to be in a position to win after I duplicate my opponent's quest? Do I need to is another thing. Like, do I even need to win? Like, who cares? Maybe. Please add a cheese man. <laughs> what? How did I land in this life where a sentence like please add a cheese man may not only makes sense to me, but it sounds pretty smart. <laughs> where is the cheese guy? There he is. Okay. Who do we actually beat with this deck is the real challenge, I think. Who loses to this? I'm okay with a Yogg in theory. Think about something like this, maybe give us healing though. DK I don't know if we'll have full hands Asian. often. I don't think we're ever gonna get to turn 10 for Yogg, honestly. Uh, DK Valera would be would be great actually, yeah. <laughs> this is the worst deck I've ever made. <laughs> this is never gonna win a game. There's zero chance this wins a game. 
Actually zero, less than zero, maybe. Uh, Shek Zara, we're not really shuffling much. We can go like Ivory just for generalized stuff. Dungar, Brightwing, I mean, Mancrick's fine. Talon draws the Yogg. <laughs> um, Lady Presser, probably don't have enough stuff for that. Maybe just Mutinous to eat their quest reward sometimes. I want them playing, it's the thing though. I don't actually want to eat it. I want them playing it so I can steal it, right? Uh, we could do like Silas to steal their quest reward too. But they still get their benefit usually from the battle cry. Ogremancer? Ogremancer is kind of a fun idea. Thinking about just like a Jandis though. Maybe Ogremancer's fine. Feels weird because it's not a legendary, but. I can live with Ogremancer. Okay, whatever. This is good enough. All right, so copying our opponent's quest. Copy our opponent's quest. I also wanted to do sort of separately into Endless Gizmos deck where we bounce scabs over and over again with Shadow Steps and Tinboos and stuff and just play like Endless Gizmos. But we can do that later, I guess. You asked for it. I will okay. Let's see. Got some secrets action. Uh, Mage. Okay, so we might be able to copy their quest. I will need a Wicked Stab later, but not right now. I don't need a Wicked Stab yet. So hopefully we can copy their quest reward. I, if the, I you know, if the problem, of course, is just going to be like, am I actually going to be able to deal more damage than them after getting their quest reward? It doesn't seem like it. I can't shadow step it though. So I can have plus six spell damage for eight mana. And then like wicked prep, wicked stab, no, prep, no, wicked stab or something problem. insane, Swing right? Like there are game. actually ways to get that done. I'm a paladin, by the way. As far as they know, I'm a freaking paladin. Uh, yeah, dagger's awesome. Yeah, or not dagger, I mean, uh, uh, Warlock would be cool because of Dagger, although we are currently a Paladin. Mm. Um, I don't think there's value in... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I'm secretly a chef. That's what you least expected, sir. Who could have guessed? Uh, did that proc Frost? I'm actually paying attention once, guys. Arcane Frost. So that's Ice Barrier. Okay. Look at me, guys. I'm getting good at the game. I noticed that it's a Frost spell. Uh, we did a neutral rogue deck during theory crafting, but it didn't... It didn't really do anything, so we kind of gave up on it. Already just tossing Fireball's face. You know that the meta's in a good spot when your opponent feels totally cool to just toss a Fireball right at your face. On turn three with no hesitation. Turn four even. Discounted fireball. What do you know? Okay. How do I be? I just feel like this game plan is not going to work, guys. I, I'm going to take their quest, portrait. maybe, if we're super lucky, and then I'm just not going to be able to win. I just can't get enough damage out. They're going to be so much faster than me. I, preps and Wicked Stabs are the way to do it, though, actually. Okay. Uh, I can prep Wicked Stabs. Like, we'll assume they're going to be at four naturally, so they'll, we're, we're going to get eight spell damage. So they'll be 12 damage each, and I still won't have lethal. Oh, we'll figure it out. Oh, dude, I would love a Nomi hero portrait, actually. Holy ham sandwiches. That sounds great. I love pandas. There's not enough pandas in Hearthstone. I'm a big panda fan. Okay, I did get another fireball, too. Gonna burn a card here, but who cares? That sucks. Yeah, I don't need that. Okay. Okay. I can see the lines. They're coming together. 
I said 24 was the magic number for prep, stab, stab, right? I think that's what I said. Are we actually going to be able to plagiarize into... <laughs> that's not the plan, right? The plan is like faceless shadow step or whatever. Uh, or, or Vanessa, whatever, right? But it, it's totally possible we could just hit it on the plagiarize if we, if we lined it up well. That would be sick. That would, that would be so sick. It's going to be really hard to time that, though. In fact, uh, maybe I just do it this turn, actually. They're on only fire, which seems like it's probably the easiest one for them to do. So they're going to have it next turn. Which means... Um, which, by the way, it's so insane how fast Mage gets this done. All right, so we just plagiarized this. They're always, pl oh my God, I got the second wicked stab. The only thing I need to be mindful of is having enough space in hand. Right? I really wish I could throw away this flurry. I mean, I got. I just have to hope this is enough because I want to shadow step the, the dawn grasp, right? Yeah, I don't need to attack. I, I'm all my damage is going to come from these, right? So, play the dawn grasp. I get the dawn grasp. Plagiarize goes in order, right? So. <gasps> You fool! Uh. I have proven myself. I am I dead next turn? Actually, how much damage do I have right now? It's 14 damage right now. Do I need to kill this? I guess I could just freeze. And then we chill. So these will deal uh, 10 each next turn, uh, which still won't be lethal. I need to bounce Dawn Grasp again, which is too much mana. What should I order? Uh, I'm not going to have enough mana unless I find another prep or shadow step, maybe. I think I actually need... I could maybe try to go face, and I, I'm only going to lose one here, but it doesn't usually net me enough, quick enough, you know? Like, it takes two turns. I like, I, I, I lose one. I would need two turns of attacks to make it worth attacking, and I'm not sure these attack twice, you know? Oh, don't tell me I'm dead anyway. No, I hate mage. No. No. That's always lethal. I mean, it has 8 million cards of damage and mana. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't do it. Oh god. Mage is the worst. Blizzard, why? Why have you done this to us? We are faithful to you. Despite, despite everything, and this is how you reward us. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. We're having so much fun. It's fun. It's fun. We're having so much fun. Okay. Ooh, Demon Hunter, I doubt they have... Well, even if they do have quests, do I even want it? I don't know. But I just concede these matchups. Like, I don't care at all about playing against this. I mean, I guess we'll play it for no reason, but uh, we don't... This isn't our target. I mean, they may have quests, but why, what am I going to do with the, the Kurtris if I get it, you know? Nothing much.
Dude, I am already depressed about this meta. I tried Warrior could not win a single game. Nothing I did mattered. Oh, they are quest. Okay. But they're just going to OTK me. I'm not going to have anything to do. This whole meta is just OTKs now. That, that mage deck is basically an OTK deck, right? Like, you know, maybe it takes two turns or something to technically kill you post Dawn Grass, but more or less, you're just building up to a combo finisher, right? Warlock's the same way. Again, it might technically take a couple... We should call them combo decks, I guess, not OTKs, since it might actually technically be a two-turn or three-turn setup, but they're combo decks. Everything's a combo deck. Warlock's combo deck. Mage is a combo deck. OTK Demon Hunter's combo deck. There's crazy rogue combo decks right now. Uh, Shaman is basically a combo deck with quest as well because you just double rock biters and stuff for a, a big lethal setup, you know. It's just all crazy finishers all the time. Which I think I kind of hate. <laughs> I don't know, I'll be honest. I'm not sure I like that direction. I thought I was excited about... I actually did think I was excited about all these big, like, game-lasting effects, but I think the problem is they're too decisive, like, they're fueled a little too well, you know? Like, Mage has too much access to too many burst spells, and Warlock has access to too many self-damage spells. There's a fine line where they're either useless or OP, so I, I you know, I don't know how to balance, that's a hard task to achieve to balance those but uh it does feel like there's a little bit of a mix there that could be better achieved maybe exactly corroden yes that's what i mean like you, you summed it up perfectly the game's always ends by turn eight so the fact that they're this game effects doesn't really seem to matter because this game only lasts for two turns after you finish the this game effect they're so strong that there's no duration to the this game effect. It's just ends, right? That's exactly a great way to summarize it, yeah. Oh, I don't want this. What is this garbage? Oh my god, he still thinks I'm a mage. <laughs> I didn't even realize myself. <laughs> I forgot I was a rogue. Oh my god, I'm a rogue, dude. He doesn't even know yet. Oh my god, that's so hilarious. I don't think it changes anything at all, but it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh boy, that is funny stuff. I completely forgot. Uh... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, I even drew the Maestro while unlocking the Maestro. That's cool. Would that make Maestra a good card if you drew her when you revealed her? Wow, that would actually probably make Maestra a good card. Because it would give you just card advantage, right? It would be a resource advantage. Huh. I don't know how you'd code that in, but it would be it would be a way to give her just a little bit of a boost, right? Like just a free 3-2 kind of. Not free from a mana standpoint, but a resource standpoint. That would be kind of cool. Uh, Fireball? Yeah, I don't know. We're still a mage, I guess. Mm, I still don't have a cheesemonger, so I don't need to use this. Oh, I do have plagiarized though, so maybe I do need to use that. Just throw it away for hand space. That would be horrible. She would be like patches, no reason not to run. No, you would have to spend mana on her still. You'd still be playing a two mana three two. It would not be like patches. Patches you didn't have to spend mana on. So patches was fantastic because he was tempo play. We're saying you draw her, not that you summon her. You just get her in hand. You still have to spend mana. That makes it, you know very hard to deal like very it's still not an efficient play to play two minute three two it's just a resource advantage wow just committing otk already i i'm <laughs> gonna get all that off plagiarize but my hand is too full <laughs> what on earth just happened ogre mancer that scary i guess huh that's a weird game oh uh, i actually gotta pee i didn't i didn't pee before the stream yeah i forgot moark i don't know yeah 
You're starting with an extra card in hand every game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes, <laughs> that's why it would be competitive instead of totally useless. That, that's exactly right. You're starting with a bad card in hand. So you get a one in 30 slightly better deck, right? Your deck is basically uh, whatever, one in 20, a 4% better draw in your deck. And you have an extra free 3-2. It's not patches because it's not a tempo. You still have to spend mana on it. You have to play a two mana three two, which most decks wouldn't really still want to do. I, there would still be many decks that wouldn't run it because what are you going to do with the three mana? Uh, well, it would be fine. It wouldn't really hurt you because it would just make your deck thinner. So most decks would run it, but you wouldn't really be using it often. It would just be the thinning of the deck that made it good. Basically running a slightly smaller deck. A 4% better deck is a tiny percent optimization of your deck, which I think would be fair and would make the card interesting. But who cares? It's fine. It's fun. Uh, I gotta pee. Let me be back in 30 seconds. Okay, where do we win that game? Super weird. Alrighty. Doo -doo -doo. Next up is Shaman. Shaman running quest? Uh, would be pretty sick for like my wicked stabs and stuff, I guess. Yeah, we could do that. Um, let's not do that. We don't know for sure we need we need the copy yet. Hey, Fortune987, dude, thanks for the prime sub. Does HSV play have its storm wind filters yet? No, they don't. Soon? Maybe soon. Oh, you built this for me? Uh oh, I'm a warlock. Oh crap, warlock's actually sick too. I love hero power. Yes, man. Is Maestro worth running for the one in eight games to get life to <laughs> or one in nine games? Man, it might be. One in nine boosts to 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 your draw early is pretty nice. That spicy 11% boost to your hero power quality. This is brutal already, though. Dead. Life tap sucks. Gonna need some sick shadow jeweler plays to recover here, man. I don't even know what they'll be. Ambush is usually gonna be good here, but I am just taking another six right now. I'm at 15. They must think he forgot to play quest. <laughs> uh, I am so dead. Did they just miss damage for no reason? I guess they maybe wanted to buff Mancrick, but why? I feel like this is the most common thing I see in Hearthstone. I've talked about this 25 times. Everybody attacks after playing a minion. And I don't know why. I, I, I just, it rarely to me seems worth it to to go that route uh explosive trap is really actually pretty bad noble sack theoretically saves me life but it's it's lower value than like the dirty tricks i guess i still explosive trap which is freezing now judgment of justice okay i am so dead i'm so dead <laughs> They can give this card a random portrait randomizer, uh, but there isn't one for normal play. Well, there is one for normal play. Oh no, there's not one for normal play yet. Oh, you, I'm thinking card backs. No, I know. I complain about that all the time. I, it's like the one thing I want so much, but it's not random on this either. It, it's actually just based on your favorite, uh, your whatever you've marked as your favorite. So if you've marked a favorite hero portrait, that's the one that Maestra selects. For some insights there. All right. I really need that barrier, but it's going to be too late, maybe. Another barrier, sure. 
Something to hide? So judgment debuffs. The attacks here, we get a second Hanar. I mean, this could be enough. But spell damage is the real scary threat right now. Yeah, hero portrait randomization. They've they've said it's coming-ish, I guess, at some point. Uh, it's got to be soon though, because it's like they've sold so many portraits now. Uh, like we, you know, it's it's taken forever to. Oh God, am I gonna die? It's taking forever to get, so it's like it's you know we've we've lost the time. Oh, this might actually save me. Okay. Already got this. I can't use it. Uh, I can use bamboozle, but I actually don't want it. I better off with like a wicked stab here. Just save some life, technically. Feels really bad, but I think so. Maybe I should just trade a wicked stab face. I don't know why I'm preserving health on this so much. That seems silly. But then why am I using the Wicked Stab? I can just hero power. So if there's no spells, we're going to heal up here. Okay. Four battle cries, I should say. <laughs> yeah, thank God I summoned a 2-3 at least. Uh, yeah, we talked about Bread Baker, but I don't know. I doesn't feel like the healing is really going to change too much. If I do like one turn, if we're not turning the corner anyway, well, I mean... What is the one turn bias, you know? I think this is just too much of a meme. I, I don't know. Trying to fix it. Trying to make it a good deck is, is really not going to get us anywhere, right? I think if we made it a good deck, we'd cut Faceless and Cheesemonger. And... In other words, I'm just looking for that one game pop-off. I don't really need consistency so much. Does that make sense? I can get a Juggernaut here, actually. This is a decent opportunity to get a Juggernaut, maybe. I don't know if manipulator is the best way to do that. Warrior might just kill us. Let's keep a step. Oh my god, I'm a warrior. Yes, I actually really love the armor gain. Okay. I might want to hold on to this one for a while. Ah, pirate warrior. Okay, so we can't get a juggernaut, maybe. All right. This could give me life gain two off barriers. Fog sail freebooter. This guy's like a dressed up pirate. He looks really fancy for a pirate. He's more like a naval admiral or something. Is it already time to Hanar? Shadow Step Hanar. I need I honestly need like I need like an explosive trap soon. Hmm. Just gonna die. This is not a this is not a hand that's I, I feel like the secret passage is a package is a trap, guys. I feel like I need more anti-tempo. I think I need to like put in prize plunderers. Maybe we just go for the bread baker like everybody wants. I feel like I have too many secrets. It's just like they're not really that disruptive and like I could just run plagiarize. I don't need the Hanar to support the plagiarize. Just run way more anti-tempo. Put in like quill bores and like who knows what else, right? Surprise! Ah. <laughs> I don't want any of these. Really? Still some garbage here, man. Okay. Uh, no, Silas won't work on Juggernaut because it's not like a minion. It's like an object thing. Would be sick though. One for me. One Thought about running Silas in here just to get another way to take their stuff, but manipulator is a cheaper way to take their stuff, right? 
I ambush is dead with a weapon, unfortunately, but or not even. Okay. Can you get a barrier here that's like maybe good, but not really. Could also go paladin into a hunter secret. Guess we'll do that. This at least heals a little. Ambush is slightly better now. Maybe he kills this though, and pack tactics is better, right? Oh, pack tactics give me a noble sack. Oh, pack tactics is not better. It's not better. It's just a noble sack. I take that back. Um, all right, let's do this again. Not exactly playing to our wing condition, but we're gonna die. I think we're gonna tweak this. I think we're gonna add. Cut the secret garbage and add a bunch more counter tempo. Play prize blunders. You could maybe even go like a full field contact, like route, you know? Uh, you can do more, maybe. Just like make it almost a tempo rogue and then. Oh, that's still proc, even though that he got intercepted. Okay, that's good to remember for later. Oh, so many weapons. This is this is gonna die, which is cool, but I'm at seven. Really need a barrier. Even that's barely gonna be enough. Barrier, barrier. Barrier, okay, sick. Uh ambush probably okay explosive trap maybe kill something later we're still super dead though Get down. okay so he's dealing five we've got 15. How do I heal next time though? Hanar is probably dead here, right? Like he usually kills the Hanar, doesn't he? With a rush minion for sure. So I'm out of healing there. Gonna have to find some healing elsewhere. You fell right into my trap. These weapons are just good against my ambushes. Like the ambushes are actively terrible. <laughs> Faceless could actually copy that 5-5 five five here and make kind of a cool play. Set up for the explosive trap. Oh, Yogg could be a way out of this game, maybe. Okay. This might trade too, which that's fine. If so, the problem is dealt with in either case. Gotta get to Yogg. How do I get to Yogg? How do I survive to Yogg? Secret passage into something or other? I don't know. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, that's not good. Can I prep a Yogg? <laughs> I need to prep a Yogg. Do I have anything Wad Thief and like some freezes or something? It ain't Tin Wu, I know. Wicked Stab times one's not enough. Oh, Wicked Stab times two? Okay. Technically alive. Still not beating, uh, still not the Yogg though. I, I need, I need another turn to get to Yogg. So, Spark Joy into Wand Thief into Flurry, maybe. Second, uh, second Troublemaker here would be one off, but I wouldn't be able to stop it. Let me prep the Yogg. Let me prep the Yogg. Play that in a weapon? Yep, because I can't afford to draw it. I need to draw good stuff, so I gotta take bad stuff out of the deck. Nah, eh, we're dead anyway, so. All the same. If he hits the minion with a weapon, I think I'm happy because it means he's not hitting my face. Okay. Yeah, we got to tweak this. We can't have all this secret garbage. It's fun. It's goofy. I like secret cheese, but if we're going to try to do this, 
which I don't even know if this is the right time to try to do this. We need to be like bottom low MMR diamond five to do this probably realistically, but I'm going to cut Maestra. She's, she's dead. Oh, plagiarize is the actually what I want to keep. Hold up. Alrighty. Uh, get rid of an R, get rid of uh spark joy, get rid of dirty tricks. Okay. I'm going to get rid of cheesemonger too. It's too cheesy. Pun intended. All right, how do we support this now better? What do we, we want survivability basically. I want ways to keep up. I want prize plunderers. I think I actually want field contacts. Um, I feel like the youthful faceless stuff is just so hard to pull off. But then again, it's the whole point of the deck. So maybe I have to. Because plagiarize alone is not enough to copy a, an opponent's quest card. So, okay. That, that kind of has to stay. There's no point to this, right? Which is you know, tough, but <laughs> so be it. That's the, that's the path we've decided to walk in life is the thief rogue plan. Um, I like, like death said, cultist. I need actually though other battle cries for that field contact that are cheap or combo cards, right? We can still go like Fox. Oh, brain freezes are actually really good. Cheap combo activators. Want these prize plunderers, brain freezes. Maybe the preps are too greedy now. Technically Vanessa. Youthfuls are actually decent with the field contact, honestly, because you could like bounce a prize plunderer. Okay. Let's still go Foxy Swindle. This isn't like amazing, amazing. <laughs> but it's a little, little better, baby. Maybe just a Kazakus in there. Whoops. Basically, give the deck a little bit more self-sufficiency while retaining the thief options. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit more like a real deck, but still can steal our opponent's quests, as opposed to making it exclusively about stealing our opponent's quests. We, like, mix it up a little bit, you know? I think that'll feel better, right? Give our deck a way to do its own thing. Jandis would also probably be good when we got double shadow step for the record, yeah. I don't hate Jandis. Okay, Warlock Quest is a good one for us to copy, actually, because they could just have a 7-7 seven, seven and I just hero power and whack it, and, um, you know, we deal 7 to them, basically. So this is a good potential opponent. Yeah, this is cool. Okay. They also might have a slightly slower uh, kind of opener, too. Oh, I could plagiarize, too, maybe. It's hard to time this one, though, I bet. It's a little bit harder to time. Unless they leave it in hand, right? Then it's easier to time. And the plagiarize might be, like, unexpected, too. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, no, I didn't add Red Lady, I know. But I added Death Set Cultist. Hopefully that's... Feels better for you. Why does my opponent have a weird shield force field over their face? What was that about? What was that animation about, guys? That was super trippy, right? Looked like a weird force field on their head. Strange. Very weird. Looked like they were driving a convertible or something. Plasma shield. Is that an animation from this? I haven't noticed it before, but I guess it could be. Man, I really do not enjoy my plays at the moment. Just really want to hold for uh, a pop off, you know? Need, need to find 
something to kick this off. I don't want to use a fraud because it's like, well, I want to use frauds on the field contact, you know? Star Wars DLC in our stone. Oh, boy. <laughs> don't sign me up. Sign me out. Sign me down. That is the last thing we need to see. Okay, so chill 2-6. Ah, there we're looking. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I actually do want to kill that if I can. Uh, what's my plunder going to be at? God, I'm so bad at counting plunders. It's not going to be at enough, right? I don't have that many spells, really, for spring water. Thought about taking the tradable, but... This plus plunder is going to be f uh, four. It's not enough. Could go Vanessa, but that's not very good. Could shadow step, but that seems wasteful. Come, friend. I guess I just leave it and chill, maybe. We only need one bounce on the uh, Warlock quest, right? It's not like Mage Quest, where if we copy it, we want to bounce it like three or four times or whatever. Um, we just need it once, right? It's it's binary. You either have the effect or you don't. So it's not like I need to save the Tin Woos and stuff for that. We do have Vanessa now as well, though, so we don't even really necessarily need the Plagiarize to uh, copy their quest. Okay. Do I have any other way? I could, like, do fatigue damage to myself. Of course, attacking with my here face is one way to deal damage after their quest. Is there any other way for me to deal damage to myself? What happens if you play Yogg Pyroblast with the Warlock quest? I actually don't know the answer to that. Does anybody know the answer to that? Do I kill this or just start like planning to go face already? They die? Yeah, I guess they just die, right? Like it just yours become theirs. So they just die twice as fast. That sounds fun. We should do that. Uh, I guess we kill it. I don't know. Just take two. Yeah, I just take two. Two won't be meaningful, hopefully, this game too much. I do need enough that I can attack into their 7-7, seven seven, I guess. That's something. Hey, Bridgetius. I never know how to say your name. Brightchus, maybe? Brightchus? Bridgetius? Either way, thanks to the 11, 11 person raid. That's awfully nice. Thank you. Also, Spikes 1000 with the nine months. Streamer Baby Month. Yes, a joke that never gets old. <laughs> I mean, it's always funny. Thanks, uh, thanks, Spikes, for the amazing uh, nine months. Is crazy. Bridget Us. Okay. Or is it Brigitte? Brigitte or Bridget, I wonder. Or oh, Brigitte. I think is how you say it in Overwatch, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get there. <laughs> I've given us a lot of options. You got it the first time. Bridget us. Okay. Bridget us. Thank you. Probably not with that much emphasis on the two halves, but I think I'm close. Boy, no card draw, dude. That sucks. We are completely stuck. Man, I just guess I plagiarize, see if I can find anything to do here. Wanna just dump a tempo brewmaster? Actually, that just gives them stuff to do. Maybe I don't. I don't really want either of these for the Vanessa. Yeah, and no field contact. This game's hurting. Really hurting. 
Give me the field contact. Oh man. Big damage. What did that where where did that five damage just come from? Why did that look so weird? What was that? Oh this this costs five. Why five though and not six? Oh, it was discounted by this. Okay. That just looks so strange. Man, are they gonna like expose themselves to being dead here? I have only wicked stab at the moment, so not quite. Oh god, how many cards am I getting? <laughs> well, I guess my hand's gonna be full. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have a full hand. Okay. Just, just, just play every card in your deck. It's no big deal. It's cool, man. I want a full. I gotta have 47 cards in hand. It's great. I'm getting actually just this and this, right? Which I guess this I can sort of use after I finish their quest, but I'm not gonna use it better than they are. Is the problem? Okay. <laughs> oh, I got raised dead. Oh, okay. That's actually a little more interesting, I guess. But I'm so dead. It doesn't matter. Their last card was Armor Vendor. I mean, no, no, I mean, it's just so dead. It doesn't, nothing here matters, right? It just doesn't matter. Okay. I don't even know if it's better to kill that or not, honestly. Probably is, because they want to get to fatigue ASAP. Uh, they're 29. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, shame I couldn't save that raise that, by the way, for post, uh, post quest. That would have been really nice. Solrend Blightborn. So I can, if they finish on Blightborn, I can use Vanessa to get it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to faceless bounce it, which is really tough. I don't think they're gonna finish on it though. It looks like they're gonna make another play. Unfortunately. Maybe they just tap? Baker. Okay. I really don't want to have to faceless bounce for seven mana. <laughs> like, that sucks. <laughs> um, I don't technically have to kill it this turn is, is one interesting thing. Um, I'm getting inspiration. I can just leave it up and copy it later. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bread baker for now. To make a wager, friend. No one crosses the uncrowned. Just to heal, maybe to buy myself a turn here. Um I think it's unlikely that dies, is is kinda what I'm getting at, right? They could kill it off themselves, which would kind of defeat the purpose of this game plan, but Hopefully it lives, and then I can do something more next turn, and I might have some cards that support it. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to have any mana left. Because I, <laughs> I need 12 mana to copy and bounce and, and do anything here. So I think I'm always dead. Uh, <laughs> I need 12 mana. <laughs> I don't have 12 mana, guys. I ain't gonna have 12 mana to make this work. I think I might be dead for the record, but uh, I definitely don't have 12 mana. Have you tried uh, no, we haven't played Big Warrior yet. Nope. Uh, Steven, I, I really like Death Set Cultist because I can play it for tempo when I have dead turns. Baker, like if I'm in certain matchups, it's just stuck in hand again. 
And I don't really think I want to be playing four mana cards post contact. It's really expensive. I'd rather just have the cultists for the curve, I think. You are hard set on the Baker though, man. You must really like Baker a lot for some reason. I can't imagine why. <laughs> I don't know what's uh <laughs> I'm detecting suspicious amount of bread baker fandom here. Hey, Matarudu, thanks for the 29 months. Uh, Panda Pool. No, it is on my list for some time, probably this week, but not yet. We haven't done Big Warrior yet. <laughs> Steven loves his bread. <laughs> loves his bread. All right, I'm not going to do this anymore. This is a fun idea. Like, I want to do this again, but it's just too. Re it's just, uh, I don't know. Warlock and Mage are the only good options. Maybe we could, like, do this in Wild or something. Uh, but it's not going to work today. So let's um, let's play a couple real decks. I got a couple decks from uh, people who found success yesterday. Uh, actually, one of them's a rogue, so let's just keep that rolling. This is Hunter Ace's version of this list, although there are a handful of these floating around that are slightly different. Some of these include Gadgets and Auctioneer. I've actually seen others that don't. I've seen some that rely on Field Contact. Uh, but uh, that's not how you spell that word. Yeah, this word is really hard to say. It's hard to spell. Pretty much everything. Uh, I haven't played this yet. I haven't even seen it yet. So we're going to go give it a whirl. But basically the idea is um, you draw through your entire deck and then you play Grot or Grote, depending on your region. And uh, you also have some spell damage when you do that, and it kills your opponent. So you can go like Ethereal Log Merchant, Thalnos, Grot, Grot. And uh, each Grot tick will deal four damage times four. That's 16 per Garot. You also got Sinister Strikes. So Thalnos. How do you, what do you use the Ark Merchant on? What do you use the Ark Merchant on? There's anything? You don't really need an Octobot that late, do you? You hold the Octobot until that late? You go all at once with this. You don't. You don't step it out over time. Do you just go all at once? All right, let's. Let, you guys are gonna have to guide me through this. I haven't seen it yet. Are they waiting to go for one big auctioneer turn, or are you going uh, kind of halfsies? Are you like getting through the deck kind of step by step and then do it all at once or I don't know. We'll see. One big auctioneer turn. How do you get everything cheap enough? Uh, do you have to get one? You have to get one Octobot first to get everything cheap enough or you just chill in the meantime. I'm assuming this is stuff we keep. Stuff to draw and fill our fill our turn. I guess against Paladin we can probably just dump a minion for stealth, but we won't need to. Bounce the Octo a few times and keep playing it. Okay. It is zero mana, so... What do you use? Brain Freeze and uh, Og Merchant to, to blow it up? That seems sensible. Okay. I see it coming together. How many cards on average are you drawing on those crazy pop-off turns? They Octobot it early. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. I am not by any means anticipating playing this remotely close to perfectly. The goal here for us will be to showcase the deck not to showcase the deck perfectly.
about how much mana are people generally starting their craziness with since i have four coins and preps and stuff i could theoretically start it i think fairly early right i mean you have a lot of mana to go with i don't know when to play this my hand's actually gonna be too full shoot I can dump brain freezes early, I'm sure. I'm the hand of the king. Okay. I just trade brain freeze now, right? We don't need to wait on these, right? We don't need the auctioneer to have stealth or anything. That doesn't seem like it matters. God, I have too many cards already. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna burn a car. Oh, I d oh, I didn't mean to trade that, but it worked out great. I'm a genius. Do I, do I burn a coin here just to freeze? Oh god, I've already screwed this up. I can burn anything except another garot, right? Do you guys say garot or garot? I need to know which is gonna become um, acceptable. I think I got to use one of these in case I burn the garot. I looked at pronunciation guides for garot. <laughs> and it's just regional. The UK says it different than the US or something. I always said garot. Garote is the, is the, is the fancy way to say it. The garote. I think I already messed up. I mean, my hand is just too full though. Like. So this draws two again, and then like, am I just good to go next turn? Maybe I don't have Octobots yet. I guess I need Octobots and I'm pretty good to go. I don't want to burn a Garot again though. Maybe I just tempo one Octobot here, right? It's going to have stealth. So it should be okay to tempo it. And then I think we can just go next turn, right? Soft G. Harote. <laughs> we must we must use the harote on the opponent's face. Alright, uh I guess we just go, right? I mean Do I have too many cards? I I don't know. I got another Octobot, I can make it free. Dysfunctional. Uh, well, I've already taken too long. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm already confident that I've taken too long. Efficient is sufficient. Oh my God. Oh, you get the coins from that guy too. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I've oh I've taken too long. There's so much going on. Oh my god, this is insane. I just missed damage, didn't I? I Why won't let me play this? Are they dead? Did I kill them? They're not dead yet, right? They didn't get to play this. They can't be dead, can they? I 
was going on the whole time. I have zero clue. I had no idea what was happening. I just started playing every card. What? That is so stupid. That cannot be good for the game, by the way. No way is that good for the game. Uh, okay. I was like, it won't let me play. <laughs> oh my God. Ocelot, thanks for bits. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's like Reed just secretly practiced this deck for six hours last night. <laughs> I bet I misplayed like eight times in that sequence at least. Just like, I, you know, I don't, did I play the coins in the right order? Did I, you know, whatever it was. I, I bet I made a million mistakes. Job done. It felt like it anyway. I told you guys cards like this, Shroud of Concealment, when we, when we reviewed this, I was like, look, I don't think this is any good right now. The cards that tutor minions are always scary, right? Uh, same thing with Lone Shark. I was like, I don't know how you do use this, but when you get coins, things break. You know, these are, that's, that's what we talk about with these cards. It's like, I don't see the lines for these, but stuff breaks. So, it, you know, it happens. We just, we just saw that. Do you ever extort face here just to get a swindle easily? Oh God. Oh boy. Great. I can't wait to do this against each other for hours of every day. Okay, I need an auctioneer, man. I need Octobot. I don't have either of my uh, minion draw things. Neither sketchy nor shroud, so that's bad. Real bad, I think. Can't even like burn one of their cards right now. His hand seems really bad. It's like I almost want to tempo a Thalnos just to draw another card because I don't have anything. Oh god. Initiating overdrive. Oh god. I I need like an auctioneer right now to go off, honestly. Or actually I guess I need Octobot still first, right? Shadow step is so freaking useless, dude. I gotta find something. I gotta just do this. I just desperate, right? Okay, Shroud actually, yeah. Maybe if I hit Octobot and Auctioneer, yeah, okay. We'll go next turn if I'm not dead here. Okay. Okay. We have a shot here. Here we I think go. we actually have a shot here. I think I can win this game. Despite a terrible start. I, I think I can win the game. I think we just go next turn and try to figure it out, right? <clears throat> um, That's actually good. I don't need any card off the top in particular, I don't think. Uh, I guess burning the other Garot, Hararote, would be tough. But other than that, I think we can just go. Oh, am I going to have to use a coin pre... Yeah, I have to use one coin pre-auctioneer, which kind of sucks. Yeah. That might be bad. I do have three. I don't know. We may not have enough, but we're going to try. We're going to try. I'm going to be dead if I don't, right? So I just don't have a choice. Like, I just have to go and hope it's enough, you know? I'm worried that without more coins, we might be in trouble, but uh, we can get preps to open up stuff. He played two minions for backstabs, so that's actually pretty good news too. Oh, we burned the prep. That's tough. Uh, okay. It's a real shame we have to waste uh, a coin here, but 
that's the world we're in, right? Oh, these are terrible draws so far. Uh oh. You're paying for my discretion. Really terrible draws so far. Oh god. I need a prep, dude. Backstab's great. Backstab's great. Auctioneer's dead. I have to hit prep. Shadow step, okay. I don't have a way to hit that, but I might draw one. Oh, I didn't draw one. No, I'm stranded now. Yeah, I had to hit a cheap draw there. I had to hit backstab or prep. Man. GG. I'm sure we're dead. Seem very dead. Attack the three one? It why? It doesn't give me coins, it gives him coins. I already got the coin. I got the coin when he played it. He gets the coins and I kill it. So I would just be making his auctioneer turn even easier. He's gonna get I mean he has it's easy enough. He's gonna kill me, but um He would have more choice earlier. He could just trade in and do the same. I'd just take three damage for nothing, basically. Um, I mean, uh, maybe there's some world where he just somehow whiffs. I, he should have it. He has so many more coins and resources and everything else. We had a real stuck hand. Do -do -do -do. Having to coin into the auctioneer was really tough. Maybe I still always play the auctioneer first there and just coin... Coin... Uh, Octobot? Like, maybe it saves me more mana anyway. Because I, I get one extra draw, but I think I spend the same amount of mana, weirdly, right? Because I had a coin into the Auctioneer to make it cheaper. If I just Auctioneered and then coined... No, I guess I'd have one less mana, but more, more cards. Kind of the same thing. Okay. Wow. This is crazy. Uh, I don't even know how mirror matches for this are gonna unfold. I mean, you need cult neophyte, I guess, but then then your minion draws get all messed up, right? I'm also pretty darn certain though that this is absolutely not good for Hearthstone. <laughs> I don't know if this is any good anyway. It may not be very good, but. If it's remotely good, I'm pretty sure it's not good for the game, but it's it's kind of fun to play, I gotta say. Like, I don't hate it right now. Uh, do I want Lone Sharks early or not? I, I actually kind of want them in the deck for the sketchy informations, weirdly. I think I want sketchy informations and Shroud of Concealments early, is my guess. I, you know, we haven't played this much. I'm not an expert, but my guess is you want Swindle, Sketchy, and Shroud early. Because they're card draws that you can kind of play just for the heck of it, you know? Job done. Which seems pretty good. Oh, you, built this for me? you saw a version without sharks, really? I feel like sharks seem fundamental to the game plan. That surprises me. I feel like without that two mana coin pop off stuff, I don't feel like the auctioneers would have enough mana to really fly. I saw I saw a list without auctioneer. It had just field contacts. Uh, I don't know the value or differences there, I guess, but. Okay, it's a neat little, neat little pair. All right. Feel like I'm gonna need to swindle soon. Gonna have to figure out a path to that. Maybe a, I don't know. Like a, like a brain freeze or something, right? To swindle. Ooh, rock biter damage is brutal here. Oh God. Oh man, this game just got hard. 
backstab is a good way to bring it to swindle i guess if i get a brain freeze i can kind of freeze that anyway it would be nice to kill it but um yeah boy a cloak would be nice but it'll be fine later it's actually really good against shaman they don't have any untargeted damage so this buying me one extra turn could definitely make the difference to winning and losing against shaman uh still though the hand is no draw i have zero card draw right now that's really bad super suck hand how much just like straight up damage do i have i mean just like four eight eleven showing this could theoretically deal you know another other nine it's 20 damage in hand already accounted for i need like a lone shark here god do i have to cloak already good god i feel like i do <laughs> it's too much damage all right let's toss this just a cycle because i am stuck otherwise i'll uh i'll cloak I don't know what I need. I don't have a shark. I need, I need, uh, I, I don't know what I need. I don't, I, auctioneers may be enough to get rolling, but I am completely froze out of this game right now. Sketchy finds me shark, but I'm going to die. Tradable at leaves seven, eight. So many options. I'm just going to die. Efficient is sufficient. You're paying for my discretion. Initiating overdrive. I mean, I'm technically alive, but not really. He needs two damage. We know that's a weapon, so I'm not alive. I'm always dead here. Yeah, I'm just always dead. That's any, any weapons lethal, so it's just I'm always dead. Can't do it. Uh, okay, this deck when it goes is pretty nuts, but it's kind of hard if you don't go, I guess. I feel like getting those Sinister Strikes in hand early really hurts. Shark and Sketchy are bait. I don't know, man. I'm just playing Hunter Ace's list. He's like... One of the best players ever. I ain't going to try to fix it, dude. I don't know. There's a few lists out there. I, I don't know. I, I feel like without Shark, how do you get enough mana? I feel like it takes you three more turns to get anywhere, probably. I don't know what to keep still either. Backstab seems like an okay keep maybe to keep alive early. Maybe just set up a combo on like Swindles. But... Okay, seems actually pretty good. Auctioneer in hand already. What is going on in chat? Why are you guys all mad? What's up? What's happening? What is happening? What did I miss in chat? Batman is mad at somebody. I don't know guys, just be chill. Life is good for most of us, most of the time. Be chill, we're playing Hearthstone, we're watching crazy rogue stuff. Be happy. 
Yeah, I gotta step in and set the kids straight. Yeah, that's what it feels like sometimes. Okay. Uh, we hold the backstab, right? It's not so urgent by any means. Uh, brain freeze to answer the two five would be cool. Shroud also cool. Weapon's pretty slow. What are we looking for here? I guess shark to tempo. Oh, you built this for me? Og merchant. Hands getting pretty full, dude. Man, double shark is kind of tough. That's going to cause some hand size restrictions, maybe. Uh, God, we could like go like so soon, though. Maybe next turn's just like shark brain freeze on a big thing. Then I can just go Octo, Ethereal, Gadget, Coin, Coin sort of stuff. I mean, I'm only at four, gonna be at five mana, so it's gonna take a little while. Three mana for efficient Ethereal. So maybe we gotta wait like two turns for that. We'll see. We'll see. Do I ever play the Octo like now for the sharks themselves? It's actually not a crazy idea either, but I lose the Og Merchant spell damage. That's at least a good freeze target. They got discounted, but is there a follow up? Oh, there is. Yeah, okay. It's pretty good. Technically leaves me with a burned card. Maybe I have to backstab not to burn a card. I don't think the opponent really wants to kill this, but they might want to kill it if I lose a card. I don't know. I don't know what's right there. I lose a auctioneer draws the, the downside, right? Uh, where's beef? No, we've already played plenty of quest warlock and i don't think people really want to see that at this stage to be honest i think they're uh frustrated by the deck i should say most people i guess uh see th like that sucks now i don't get any coins i'm really sad i lost that backstab now that's really bad uh okay I think we just put this into cycle right i don't need the spell damage that badly i need cards Ugh. i basically fell into this the first time accidentally every game since has felt sort of a little bit more stressful i think it's because they're just playing faster decks we don't have as much time to goof around right don't tell me i'm dead i'm not dead already am i oh my god don't tell me i'm dead please I have one turn. I have one turn. Come on. I have one turn, bro. What is that? What is that? What? 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 Coin lightning bolt. Oh my god. So much mana. It's all my fault. Okay. I feel like we're just getting murdered by Elemental Shaman twice in a row right now. That might be a hard counter to this list. I need basically one more turn than Elemental Shaman allows. It's gonna go off next turn, but. Did Elemental Shaman change it all? Uh, I saw some of the new four drop in there. Like that just had the new weapon, which I'm still not really sold on that weapon. Like, <laughs> cause Sh Elemental Shaman, when I played it at least, and the same thing actually with the four drop. I don't know, I felt like Cheesing one or two mana at a time doesn't really go that far. And the four drop weapon in particular. Man, do you keep auctioneer? It's warrior. Do I have more time? Pirates are a little slower. Anyway, che cheesing mana, it's like you run out of cards anyway. Like you, you can kind of often fill your mana, I felt like, in, in, uh, in Shaman anyway. So I don't know. Maybe it helps. I haven't played it, so it's hard to say. Do we, do we keep auctioneer? In the old days, you would have always kept this in like Miracle Rogue. Nowadays, I don't know. Maybe prep's too greedy though. Oh, okay. The game knows better than I do. Ball don't lie. <laughs> Mulligan don't lie. Draw don't lie. 
That's that's funny. Okay, this would be nuts with Shark. Actually, it's good with Thanos too, I guess. Oh my God, Bull, don't lie, dude. I've been wasting these attacks lately, uh, but this is more of a control warrior, so we're probably gonna have time. The question is, will we have enough damage, right? Might be harder to get damage here. Shark, okay. Man, like this is already a pretty good hand. Uh, do I ever prep a swindle yet? <laughs> Every turn you have 47 million decisions to make. I need to top deck like an, an Og Merchant already. I can't really afford to go another shark yet because I'll burn potentially my damage. I need to make sure I have my damage cards. I don't think I can really trust that this goes off. I uh, I think I'm gonna prep a swindle. We have plenty of coins. We shouldn't really need. Uh, this is Og Merchants or Shark or Auctioneer. If I play this, I'm going to be at 10 cards again is the problem, right? I'm always at 10 cards. I could throw a coin again or maybe just prep this again. Man, I don't know about all this. Another freaking loan shark. If I play the loan shark again, I risk going to 10 and burning a burst damage card, which I can't afford to do. So I think I just chill because we're not really in a hurry in particular against um, Warrior. I mean, we don't want to take too long because they can gain armor, but. I don't know. These sharks are starting to feel like bait a little bit, to be honest. Um. They are starting to feel like bait. It has stealth, but it, it there's minefields. There's, well, I guess he wouldn't brawl yet. So I don't know. There's Eye of Cthulhu ish. Uh, I guess he can't do that yet either. Oh, no, he can. He could Eye of Cthulhu. He could Heart of Cthulhu, which wouldn't quite get it there. But there's ways to kill it, even with I stealth. Wonder. Maybe it's worth the risk, though, in that case, like. The only thing is, if we do burn it, it's 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 gone, right? It's just dead forever. Uh, I still don't have a way to activate the freaking uh, Octobot. I wonder. This hand is so awkward. I'm just throwing this away. I don't know. I'm going to have to go next turn for just lack of anything more interesting to do. I hate that I got two sharks instead of two Og Merchants. I feel like if I had Og Merchants, I would just be blowing this hand up. I feel like I'd be going crazy. I'd just Octobot. I'd just Auctioneer already. I'd just be going absolutely insane. I'm probably going to have to go next turn regardless. Uh, can I kill off my own sharks easily in the stack? I can with uh, extortion and spell damage. Okay, Og Merchant's actually insane. Okay, cool. I'm still, though, if I do this, committing all my coins pre auctioneer again. Maybe I just wait a turn. I lose spell damage then, but I'm like really ready to go crazy next turn. Do I need the spell damage to win? I can I can always shadow step Og Merchants, so I don't need this. I don't need the spell damage to win. He also hasn't gained any armor yet, so. Okay. Next turn's the turn. Next turn's the turn. We have at least three zero mana draws. I will also have at that point uh, five spare mana to pop off with. Um, so it's just auctioneer, 
Uh, I can kill loan sharks if needed with, like I said, uh, extortion plus spell damage. So I could get more coins like that to go completely insane. I need to start this turn ASAP and just go. Just need to go. I will only have one spell damage naturally off the Thalna, so I will probably need to find those Og Merchants sooner rather than later, but... Shark now? Mm. Guess it wouldn't have been too risky, actually. Just tempo one. So I don't have to spend the mana next turn. I think that's reasonable. They, they pay for themselves at this point, but I still have to... That, I can still net that too without them paying for themselves, right? Oh, Bulwark, God! Is Bulwark just too much? Uh, it might be too much. Hi from it's five YouTube. bulwarks too. Hey, add bullet. Thanks. Uh, hey, Curse Lopez, what's up? Uh, I don't know yet. We've been doing some crazy stuff with uh, copying our guffs that worked pretty well. So that's kind of like Taunt Druid. Hmm. I'm going to just go. Uh, go. I'm just going to chill again. I don't have to hurry here. Better off using the cloak now, or will there be more damage in the future? There will technically be more damage in the future. I'm almost certainly not dead. But if I don't use cloak now, I risk burning a card if I play Lone Shark. So maybe I still cloak now. Just for hand space concerns. So if, uh, if three charges get eaten up, or if three hits get eaten up, can I win? I'll have six Garot procs and one Sinister Strike. Each will dealing like three to four. Six times three is 18. Four from Sinister Strike is 22. Man, I feel like I may not have enough, guys. I need really, really good Og Merchants if I'm going to have enough. I might be able to wait one more turn, though. Because I don't think he's dealing 23. Even an Eye of Cthulhu is only going to be another 7. I better go. I don't know. I don't think I have time to, to fiddle here. I need the Og Merchants. Really need Og Merchants, man. Shoot. I need Og Merchants so that I can... <sighs> I'm just, I just burned a card. I just burned a card. Don't be the Og... Oh my god. Ah! I just burned the Og Merchant, man. I'm out of I didn't even get to play my Garotes. I didn't even have enough mana to play the Garotes either. <laughs> I did not go to playing, guys. <laughs> I did not go to playing. <laughs> I didn't even have enough mana to play these because I ran out of Octobots. Oh, that didn't go to plan. I needed to shadow step the Og Merchants, right, to get enough spell damage to have lethal, but it just didn't go to plan. <laughs> Beautiful mind. I accidentally won the game last time. Uh, how much damage do I actually have just, like, straight up? These are just each eight. It's not enough. It's clearly not enough. Uh, can deal 16 here, but even despite our goofiness, but... Uh, Does this draw or not? Does it just whiff? 
Okay, well that didn't go to plan. Um. Yeah, I think I was screwed even if I didn't burn the Og Merchant. I think I used all my mana on non garotes They were t garots, garotes, harotes. They were too expensive. I needed another um, Octobot. This deck's hard to play. I don't care what you say. This is tough to get everything sequenced right. And I feel like you almost kind of have to have the Octobots late. Um, you need that, like, auctioneer hand to get octobotted so that the garrotes become cheap enough because otherwise you're not gonna have the damage outs right that's what it felt like to me anyway i see this seems like one of those decks that could be absolutely bonkers in the hands of a really talented professional player and then just hot utter garbage in the hands of a goon like me <laughs> Just absolute hot utter just 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 trash. Twelve percent win rate in my hands, and then you know somebody good plays it and it's like undefeated. They don't ever lose. <laughs> this is a tier eight deck for Regis and a and a tier one deck for Hunter Ace whose whose list this is. Uh bum -ba -da. I always feel like my hands are too full too, so part of me wonders if we're waiting too long to go off, you know? Um there's a few different sort of uh downsides here I'm not I'm not sure about. Maybe I just don't combo these. Maybe I'm happy to just draw spells off these and not get too fancy with them. I sort of need like my opponent to play something I can brain freeze, you know? I think you definitely want to draw minions though. I don't know. I think I think we gotta keep Shadow Stop Octobot to make the stuff cheaper the next round over. Okay, so this is a good backstab brain freeze, maybe. I think we can give up the backstab. To cycle. Shadow step again, okay. Can I coin a Lone Shark? Nah, sort of. But do I need to? Here we go. I don't know. Here we go. Great question, Regis. It sort of pays for itself. Oh, Chat, you have the answers, man. <laughs> Chat, you guys are smart. <laughs> Chat said no because it costs three. Pretty good logic. I can't argue that. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty good logic, Chat. I'm gonna gonna give you that one. So many options. What about now? I burn a card if this goes poorly. I I feel like every turn I don't know what to do. Like, do I already go for Octopod? I don't want to lose the spell damage. So. I don't know. Do I, uh, like, rip a tradable on this minion so I don't burn a card if he kills this, right? I don't know. No idea. Eh, not super meaningful there, I guess. I think I can just go next turn, right? Uh, well, maybe not next turn. What do I do? I go Octobot, Og Merchant. That's that's three mana. This is still five. Maybe not next turn. Although I do have two coins. So. 
I don't know, maybe I do. I can't actually open with the auctioneer here, which is something I haven't been doing. I, I think I should open with auctioneer, then coin, 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 Octobot, Aug Merchant, so that I discount the future set of stuff. Then I can go Octobot again with Aug Merchant after Shadow Step. I'm gonna do this in a different order and see if it feels better. Basically. I think I've been doing the discounts sort of in the wrong order. Oh, I should have. Oh, no, never mind. I had to hit that. I lose spell damage when I do it this way, though. I don't know. Maybe this is all right still. I don't need the full spell damage, right? So. But this makes everything else cheaper. So I can start going off, right? Oh my god, I still don't have enough stuff. Oh my god, I need a way to hit this, please. Still not gonna get there. My god. They di did I accidentally kill them again? No, I'm just out of mana. Oh, I still didn't do this very well. It was like closer this time. I needed to be able to backstab this and then play this and I would have had lethal. I just needed to go faster. If I could have backstabbed here, oh, that would have died because of the spell damage. Uh, I could have backstabbed here maybe, found another bleed. Yeah, I don't know. What would I have backstabbed? I, because of all the spell damage, I can't... I didn't have a way to damage this. Threw away my extortion for nothing. What do you mean? I threw it away for a card draw. The turn I used it on my own minion, I, I did it to save a coin. I would have burned a card. So I traded an extortion for a card in my deck. It wasn't for nothing, it was for a card. Uh, can I get there again? I still have a Sinister Strike, an Aug Merchant, and an Auctioneer. And Garot, of course. What's he at here? 12? Oh, I think I should just have it again, right? Do I even need Auctioneer? Yeah. Everything's so expensive, though. I don't know if I do have it. Can I force the groats to hit? Uh, yeah, I think so. I got the best deal anyway. You're paying for my discretion. I'm almost out of cards. Okay. So I guess it took one extra turn, right? Wait, did I not? Is that not guaranteed? Oh god, I might miss it again. I need one more freaking card. Are you serious? Hit it, hit it. It's 50-50, come on. Maybe it's guaranteed. I don't know if I had an auction control hitting or not yet. Okay. Well. Extorted the first Octobot and then played second one and backstabbed the second. Why would I... You mean pre-Aug Merchant? I don't know when that was, so... Maybe, sure, I don't know. <laughs> I just have no idea, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Uh, okay, again? Just incredibly... Inefficient and not perfect, but... It's winning, it's... When, when it goes, it goes, I'll tell you. I don't know what to... I'm not going to be playing this second after the day, I'll tell you that. I'm done. But when it goes, it goes. I still feel like there's some hand-sized clogginess with, like, Lone Shark that I'm not quite... I feel like my brain's not settled on yet. Like, I don't know when to empty the hand more versus when not to kind of stuff. Like, when to commit an Octobot versus hold an Octobot. There's a few things... I, I did like that last game better where I... 
auctioneered into the Octobot as opposed to Octobot into the auctioneer. Basically, there was more stuff in hand to get discounted. That did feel, that was one, I think, improvement we've made for future references. I, I do think because, I do think we need to be mindful of spell damage not allowing us to proc a, a second Octobot as well. Like using spell damage and burst damage at the very end of the cycle, as opposed to at the middle of the cycle. Like which of these do I play first? I don't know. If I hit non-sharks, I think I'm happy to do it this way. Because sharks fill the hand up too much, and I'd rather play that later to discount it, get the coins in the loop. Who is Fino? Uh, he, uh, grand, well, he used to be a Grandmaster. I don't think he technically is a Grandmaster anymore, but a professional Hearthstone player streamer person. More or less. I think we're also sort of finding out. Okay, so this could give me three cards if it hits shark. It's actually guaranteed to hit shark because I have Thalnos in hand. Then I can just SI7 extortion face. It's kind of free damage. I don't need the spell itself, so. Okay. So now I could go like Octobot Brain Freeze. Uh, I don't have a shadow step for the Octobots. It feels like I need to shadow step the Octobots pretty often. W E L your O T K Shaman is 39% win rate. No, I'll take that. That's actually not bad. Even though for now, there is only enough stats at low rank. That link did not show me anything at 39%. <laughs> I thought that link didn't maybe have a different filter or something. Oh, Stormwood filters are up. Sick. Oh my god, yes. HS replay, please. Yes. I love it. Diamond through legend, face hunters, number one, like I thought it would be. Poison Rogue moved up a ton. That's because it's good against all these OTK decks. Hand buff pally's up there, of course. Zoo looks like it's gonna be the best version of Warlock. That's what we talked about earlier today. How Zoo looks nuts. That's even without. The quest. That's cool. Oh boy. I, I got distracted. What do I do now? Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe we just discount this hand. Sure wish I had a shadow step for that. I can't, I can't trust Mage to not kill this, right? Mage will, Mage will always kill it. I sure wish I had a shadow step though. Cool, I wanna go look at the HS replay stuff in a second. See if we can't find some cool decks to play. Quest Druid is tier two, mid tier two. Quest Mage is mid tier two. Uh, Quest Shaman is mid tier two. Okay, sweet. Quest Paladin high tier three. That's better than I expected, that's cool. A lot of quests. About? Quest populating the meta that will go away. Just scroll to tier four. What? I didn't say it wasn't there. What are you talking about? I said Zoo Warlock is the best Warlock deck. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What am I talking about? What are you talking about? Hopefully I don't draw the shark before I play this. Nice. It's gonna draw three. Oh, it's gonna draw four. I just burned a card. You said zoo is Gosh, oh, I burned a coin, I guess. Makes Warlock yeah, work. shoot. This deck is freaking impossible to play, man. I swear to God. Mana. Even without quest, stupid type. I don't even have enough mana now because I freaking, uh, that's okay, I can just chill a turn, I guess. Oh, oh, hold up. No, we still wait, right? What do I, I don't have any need to play this. Could burn a garrote's the only problem. Okay. 
Let's just chill. We're not dead. No hurry. I said even without quest. Yeah. Zoo is best at even without quest. Yeah, I don't understand why you're having trouble. Th th that's what we're saying. Zoo is the best warlock deck without the quest. What what are we disagreeing about? I'm very confused. It's right there at the top of tier two. Look, I'm, I'm looking at the thing right here. Meta. United Stormman. I know you can't see it. Diamond through legend. Zoo, right here. Word even no quest. To me that quest's supposed to be good. I wonder. Uh, well, that's your problem. I can't solve what you have. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't fix that. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my god. I don't. I thought I had more mana. Oh my god. I was gonna play a shark right now. I mean, not a shark. An octobot. Oh my god. Oh, I screwed up. That's a whoopsie. That's a big old whoopsie. I'm still gonna win this game again, I think. Despite an endless array of mistakes. I still think we're gonna <laughs> I still think we're gonna get there. Um Yeah, I needed that to be a groat. I needed that to be a groat. I got the best deal anywhere. Everybody has been saying that Quest Warlock is nuts. I'm saying Zoo is good even without the quest. Like Zoo is the best deck. Even without quests, which people will be surprised by. I don't know what was so confusing about that exchange. I think it's cool that Zoo is better than Quest, because Quest is driving people crazy today. It's all they're complaining about, so. I think we're on the same page. I don't I don't know why this seems so uh contradictory. My don't kill me, please. I've played this game like an idiot again. I need to not burn Garote. I don't know if I have enough without the Garote. This is twelve. No, actually it's it's uh sixteen. But I don't have an auctioneer, so I have to draw it manually. But with swindles, that shouldn't be impossible, right? My hand no! Like I said, I think I still have it, though. Efficient is so You're paid for my discretion. Initiating overdrive. Uh. You're paid for my discretion. I mean, more accurate statement would be just to say Zoo is good and Quest is bad. Not like so this is 16 as long as I draw them all. Will I will I be able to guarantee that I draw them all actually? I don't know that I will be able to guarantee that. This doesn't draw anything. Oh, I guess I always draw the other swindle. No, I could draw the shadow step actually. Starting to sound like touch. Oh shoot. Oh, I drew the freaking shadow step. I didn't put this in the deck anyway though cuz I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I forgot to put this in the deck. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> I don't have any way to draw. Oh my god, I forgot to, <laughs> forgot to put it in the deck. <laughs> god dang it. Uh, I don't think this draws, right? It just, it just whiffs, yeah. It just whiffs. I'm super dead. I'm super dead. There is a zoo with quest, Tribudius. That's not accurate. There, there is a zoo with quest. We played it today. There's a really fast zoo list with dark layers that's still running quest. Uh, we played it multiple times today, actually. Garote is starting to sound like touch. <laughs> yeah, I am so overplaying this deck. It's so complicated. I got to concentrate. You guys keep talking to me. I'm going to ban cheers uh, for multiple reasons. Uh... What to do? 
Actually, yeah, speaking of, I, I don't even, maybe HS Weekly's archetypes are wrong because the only zoo deck with data right now that's part of their zoo archetype actually has quest. That's the most popular one when you click in here and you look at decks. So they're not actually, this is not a proper, am I actually going to ever live here, by the way? So maybe it's even appropriate to say zoo with quest might end up being the best warlock. I don't know. There's no way he's... What just happened? Is Virus like watching the stream? It's just let me win. <laughs> this has been the most... This has been the biggest mess of a game I've ever played. What an absolute nonsense game. What just... I, I don't even know what happened because I was looking at HS replay. Oh my God. That had to be the most frustrating thing on earth to watch. I'm sorry. We'll concentrate now. We'll concentrate now. Valera. I make my own. Watch your back. Welcome, boys. Make some room. Kylix Sonato with two years. My God, that's amazing. Let's keep this. I like card draw. Maybe this will be another mirror match. I want one more game where I play this deck like remotely competently. There is a difference between which I don't know if it's going to be possible. <laughs> we may need two he years for that, but I want at least one game. game that's remotely competently. Uh, yeah, I would I would actually maybe say there's three warlock archetypes zoo zoo quest and like quest quest, you know I know it's probably confusing but I don't know that like zoo zoo is it's really around though anymore it probably won't be around if zoo quest is just better that does the same thing 90% of the way The zoo quest we played still had a little bit of like removal so I had like touch of the nathrazine or something I forget some healing and stuff but mostly zooey Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to concentrate on this game. Let's, I'm gonna ignore chat for a while. No hard feelings. I just wanna try to actually win a Hearthstone game where I don't look like I'm brain dead most of the time. <laughs> I look like a functioning human being and not a, a happy dog. <laughs> like, not a really excited dog. I just wanna look like a human being for one game. One competent, coherent Hearthstone game. I want to win it, and then then I can stop playing this monstrosity of a deck. That somehow I, I, I we've won multiple games of this when I haven't done anything of any intelligence whatsoever. It's kind of remarkable, actually, how much we're winning despite playing so badly. Okay, we can uh, SI extortion the Octobot. I could actually shadow step it as well and have a pretty nice setup. Okay, I think I might do that. Uh, we don't have another way to proc it yet, though, so we might want to be a little careful. But it would be zero mana, so I could play it on a future Gadget Sand Auctioneer turn and, like, find a way to proc it along the way. You know? Why not oh, another coin, okay. One. I guess we're in a mirror match, boys and gals. Which I'm cool with. Okay. So now we can backstab it as well. Do I go next turn? Auctioneer coin. Octobot backstab. I'd kind of like to wait one turn, maybe. I'm nervous to go next turn. Because I don't have enough mana to play like Shroud and there's like a lot of stuff I wouldn't really be able to play very well. And I wouldn't be able to fill the hand up rather, you know, like extensively. Um, for, for good Octobot discounts. Oh my God, he's already playing the Garot. We've never played one preemptively. I've always... Are we stupid? Do we need to start playing it preemptively? I've never played one preemptively before. Do I just go Octobot backstab right now? 
It's only a three mana discount's the problem, right? I think I want to draw a bunch of stuff and then do it. Go. Uh, I'm going to kill this so that if the Garote goes off, it doesn't deal extra to me. But I'm just going to take a pass turn here, I think. I think next turn I probably have to go off no matter what. I just really wish I had more coins. I wish he'd play another Loan Shark. I can get coin off sketchy information because I already have uh, Thalnos in hand. So that might be one way to get coins. Could maybe eventually backstab my own shark, but... I don't know. This is going to be one mana too, which is nice. So basically we go... Um, I can actually play a Thalnos pre-Octobot as well if I wanted to, but I don't need to. But if I wanted to squeeze in a Sinister Strike for one extra damage, I guess I could. I don't know. This is so scary. I'm like, I'm worried if I wait an extra turn, I'm just going to be dead, right? <laughs> you can't wait too long or you just die. Um, so I don't know. I wish I wish that they would play a... They are going way more like step by step than I have been. I've been going way more all at once. I don't know if that's better or worse. Oh, I could just take another pass turn here. I guess the Garotes could still kill me, though. No, I better not. Really needed more discounts, I think. I don't know if I got enough discounts. Everything's still so expensive. Yeah, I didn't get it. I need a prep. I need a prep so bad. Give me a prep, please, God. Please, God, give me a prep. Backstab on Thanos to draw another two. Prep, please. Oh, Sachi, so bad. It's got, oh, my God. Why is everything so expensive? Oh. There's so many freaking three mana cards in here. Can these be right? Oh, I needed prep. Oh, I went too soon. I went too soon. Oh, I didn't have enough coins. And yet some of you are saying the shark is bait. Hmm. How can the shark be bait if coins are so fundamental to the game plan? The best deal anywhere. Oh, I really needed coins. Yeah, if people keep missing the shark, guys. They get the coins if I kill the shark. I, I get the coin when they play it. They get the coins if I kill it. Killing the shark is never helpful to me. They're shark to me. Killing my own sharks can be pretty cool. I mean, I, I may still win this game. They're not exactly popping off. I'm not dead yet. I could still go again. I just need to find preps, really. I might be dead if they hit enough enough uh, garrotes here, leads or whatever. I even saw the spell damage up technically. Man, they just ran out of time. Maybe. Oh, oh! Did they get the bleeds? Am I dead? Oh no, I'm not dead. Okay. Uh, so this gives me this gives me guaranteed two coins. Okay, I was gonna say, my god, did I just mess up? What just happened? There's a bleed, okay. I need a prep, dude. Oh, I really need a prep, man. There it is, okay, sweet. That's gotta be game, right? I mean, I sort of went over two turns there unintentionally. I I still don't feel like I'm playing this remotely close to optimized. I feel like I'm about 12% about optimized and we're still just kind of getting there sometimes. I don't know. They had the same problem we did. I mean, basically 
I kind of accidentally went over two turns. They sort of set up over two or three turns. What's the difference? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm done with a sec. I got to pee, though. We're going to switch it up. Give me a... Give me 30 seconds, take a pee break. We'll be back to play. Uh, All righty. Oh, still got some neck and shoulder pain, man. I adjusted my monitors back. I think they're in a good spot, but I just, I don't know. Some, maybe this headset is heavier or something hurting my neck. I can't figure it out, man. Stretch it out. Got a fat head, I think. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Fathead boys. Okay, um, so that was Rogue. Uh, I also wanted to play this um, overloady, questy shaman, maybe. Or I also had what else? Let me see. What's Hirun got for fresh decks here? Uh, The priest deck that's decent, maybe. <laughs> Top 100 priest deck. To draw quest line priest shard same Shadow time, you priest. Oh, is there? Okay. It's good to keep in mind. I'm not doing that today, but... It's a fresh token druid. That actually looks pretty cool. That's a crazy looking token list. That looks fun. Uh, man, there's some people saying some good Shadow Priest lists out here. I don't really want to play a ton of pro uh, Shadow Priest. It's an aggro druid. We got, uh, kind of like this Viper aggro druid. That's a different spin I haven't played yet. Uh,. Still got some uh, shaman. Let's take a real quick Number look 10, at HS replay here. Buy uh, stuff with new cards. The best decks for each class with new cards. Uh, yeah, priest is doing poorly as a as a as a whole. Yeah. So this is uh, OTK Demon Hunter with quest. I bet. Uh, or actually, no, no quest. Just sigil of alacrity. But still just OTK Demon Hunter. Okay. Druid, the best Druid deck. Uh, again, we're United Stormwind, time frame, Diamond Through Legends with new cards. Best new card Druid deck is a, looks like kind of a token-y, spell -y Druid running. Oh, this is Quest, I bet. Oh, yeah, it's Quest. Quest Druid. Okay. It's a really good winner down that one so far. Looks strong. Here is a Beast Shuffle Druid. Oh, this is like what we're running. Wait, is this my list? No, we had we had uh, no fungal fortunes, but this is very close to what we were running. Wow, cool. That's more evidence that our totally meme deck maybe isn't as meme as we thought. Oh, actually, this is mine, I think. Oh, no, I don't have fungal fortunes. That's not mine, but it's very close again. Yeah, wow. The meme deck I built is maybe actually sort of almost a real deck. Seems like those will be better than what we built, but you know, we were close. So this is Face Hunter with Aim Shot. Some Face Hunters with Cornelius Rome look like they're a little bit weaker for now. Looks like Rome is pulling the win rate down a little. Devouring Swarm may be pulling it down even further. That's Quest though, I guess. So yeah, Quest doesn't look as good as Face, which makes sense to me. Face is so so scary. This mage looking really, really strong. We've got a lot of uh, quest mages and some non-quest mages too, probably. But quest spell mage looks very spooky. Okay. Paladin looks really good too. We might actually play this real quick, like a good hand buff paladin. I think Dex already made a video on this though, so I don't know. That's less compelling. I don't want to steal his video, Thunder. But yeah, it looks like a good hand buff poly list is actually going to be legit. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> Priest 
no dex found. Oh, God. Wow, that was heartbreaking. So Quest Rogue looks like it's going to be the top uh, rogue list. Although Poison Rogue looked like it was gaining a lot of momentum. So I bet Poison Rogue ends up being really, really good. Um, Poison Rogue is probably going to be good specifically because... Uh, it's really good against these OTK decks that are just like taking a ton of damage and doing their thing and you just kill them before they get to, I bet. That's my guess. Shaman. Uh, looks like Elemental Shaman's still there. Canal Slogger helping it out as an amazing card. They're not even running the new 4-drop uh, Elemental, which kind of said that might be the case. Although this one's really close and almost as good. Very close. This is a bigger sample size, so this may get pulled down as it gets more data. Same here, though. These seem a little lower, but again, small sample size. Warlock? Uh, yeah, this guy is so good, I told you. I knew this guy's going to be a good card, man. I knew it. I knew it. I could feel it in my bones. This is a straight-up zoo with no quest. This is a non-quest zoo. Looks really good. Basically, you know, Dark Lair Zoo with Bloodbound Imp, because Bloodbound Imp is such an insane zoo card, right? This is a good zoo card, and this is a good zoo card. We might actually play this. This is like a demon zoo. That looks pretty fun. Uh, Non-quest warlock is kind of a cool hook right now. Quest warlock is... is uh, This is a quest zoo, though. See, so this is going to be a battle between these. They're really close right now to see which one ends up better. They're, they're more or less very similar. This is Wicked Whispers' as follow-up. And this has... You know, this is like token cards as follow-up, and this has quest to win the game, so similar and then warrior we got a quest control warrior is the top uh control warrior i bet we could take this and make it better it's not running nazoth though i kind of want to play this i've been looking to get a good control pirates i might actually play this real quick as well let's try to play this it's not the best deck but it might be the best warrior deck which is kind of intriguing okay yeah let's play i really want to play control pirates we're gonna play this real quick Is anyone already done with this meta? I think there are some people who are frustrated with this meta, yeah. <laughs> I actually am not too bothered yet. I think Mage will eventually annoy me quite a bit, but I'm not there yet. We could make this an Azoth deck, but I kind of just want to play the, the list that's already working. This is so close to what we were building. I mean, this is, except I didn't have a Rattle Roar because I thought it seemed redundant with Quest. I didn't have Stage Dive, but every other card here is like, almost exactly what we had why was our warrior deck not working at all but this looks like it's working okay so weird i wouldn't be shocked if we saw um uh, what's it called i haven't i haven't described it so you guys don't know the mage two mana guy mage two mana break the game card what's it called You guys know what I'm talking about. Search for the nest. What's it called? Can't think of the name. Keep wanting to say Scavenger's Ingenuity, but I, it's not that. Encanter's Flow. Doesn't start with an S. I lied. <laughs> um, is it Encanter's Flow? I don't even know now. <laughs> That's how little I play Mage. Um, Encanter's Flow is... Uh, I think it could get nerfed. I wouldn't be shocked at all if Encanter's Flow got whacked. I think that'd be totally reasonable. Pushing canters to three. Slow down quest mage. I bet Warlock ends up being in an okay spot. I don't think Warlock will be too broken. I think it'll still be annoying because... Like, control decks will have trouble against Warlock again. It's so hard to beat quest Warlock. if you Like, they have a terminal game state. Like, their fatigue makes them win the game. That is basically a death knell for any deck that's looking to extend a game. So once again, Warlock becomes the class that just murders any any slower deck. Hearthstone didn't lie when they said you have to have win conditions. They are forcing you to be able to end games. There's not going to be any grindy, controly, you know, just super greed sort of things possible with, with Quest Warlock out there. You're going to have to be able to hit him hard. Mm -hmm. 
a little bit worried about uh pack tactics there so i wanted to put a minion out just in case you're wondering why i played this but also now i have a much stronger weapon potentially next turn not that i need it but the three four is the likely play on four right so this helps me kill the three four with weapon alone the moment is upon okay Yeah, interestingly, I think the Fatigue Warlock thing is even worse than Ticketus. Like, Ticketus, you could still, you know, add cards to your deck. Like, there was ways to mitigate the Ticketus risk. I don't think there's any way to mitigate the... I don't think there's any way to stop the Fatigue Warlock plan other than just, you know, pressuring. You know, having a defined damagey wind condition right it's the only way to beat it or whatever priest wind condition something right but you can't outvalue anyway i mean uh, theoretically right if you have enough armor you can like sort of just develop even without you know a ton of like pressure or damage ending sort of stuff you can still like get enough minions and just outlast but that's pretty hard too yeah, this is Control Pirate Quest Warrior. Quest... Uh, control Pirates, basically. Pirate Control is what I'll call it on the YouTube thumbnail. Good old Pirate Control. Uh, armor gain's really good against Hunter here. I think this will be nice. Good. Sour Fang, too. Wow. Really nice. Bulwark's good against Hunter, too, so happy to draw that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Play Quest Druid and watch yourself never survive till turn five. Actually, we did okay with Quest Druid earlier, believe it or not. Uh, we didn't, like, you know, dominate, but we went, like, over 50-50, I think. We were, we were actually stabilizing off the guff pretty often, I thought. I don't know. I mean, there were definitely mages that beat us and warlocks that beat us, but we also sometimes got them. It ended up being like uh, sort of a mixed bag. I can actually shiver this if I need the armor, so like just maybe shield maiden shiver next turn or something. I doubt I'm dead here, but if I got, if I was, I'd be ticked. <laughs> I guess I could just trade and then shiver as well now. It's fine too. Alrighty. So I guess we want to play a pirate in that case. This isn't my favorite pirate. In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. I really want to armor. Do I just always armor here and just chill? Play another pirate, I guess. In a box? Mm, pirate stuff. Okay. Job done. Back to uh, plenty of health, hopefully, for now. I need the crash to die, actually, so I can gain even more. Might honestly be sort of difficult if they don't play anything at this stage. They could have shivered it, but it seemed better to go this route. But back to 24. Hey, slapping hams with the prime sub. Oh, they killed the crash. Okay. Interesting. They're actually clearing my board. Okay. They had Bola shot backwards. That's funny. Uh, I guess we just go Sour Fang and trade then, right? I get a crush again. Get to draw a card. Pretty much nuts. Oh, actually, do I maybe just shiver and protect my minions? Yeah. We're getting quite a bit of counter pressure, so let's just do that. We're back to plenty of health. Pretty nice 32. Even more here, even more here. Bulwark denies them. I just don't see how they get it off, right? They're actually they're actually working on my minions too right now, which is even more beneficial to me. That is a big reload twice in a row though with Rome and Kotobane. Will it be enough? Uh, do you think about the new... What do you think about the new Warlock quest, Have Destroyed Wild? Um, I don't know what you mean, like... I haven't seen what it's done to Wild, number one, but... 
do I think it has? Or I think it will. The the framing of that question was a little weird. Happy to discuss. I just don't know what you mean. <laughs> Gotta get through me. Okay. Rokara done. Board cleared. Life acquired. Pretty happy camper. You can finish quest on turn four and key. Kill like kill your opponent? Yeah, I mean I don't want wild to be broken, so that sounds bad. I just don't know. I I I think this is gonna keep happening every expansion in Wild, guys, just for the record. I I'm not saying I approve of it. I don't think it's a great thing or anything. I just think it's gonna keep happening. My god, by the way, I, what just happened? What did I start this turn at? Cause I dang you finished it at 12, I'll tell you that. Man, I still had like insane, right? I had I had this and this and this. We were still gonna go crazy, but man. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see the soda because it's a Coke Zero. Delicious, refreshing. Get yours today at your local Walmart. Brought to you by blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not actually sponsored by Coke Zero. This is not hashtag ad. I have actually seen a handful of sponsorships lately where uh, influencers are not disclosing that they're sponsored, which is a great way to get yourself in some hot water with the FCC. Don't recommend doing that, fellow streamer people. Disclose them sponsorships. Don't want to be levied a fine. Not that anybody would, but you know, it's risky anyway. Ooh, I was worried a quest priest was going to murder me, but I think uh, we can do well against shadow priest i think we can gain enough life here to to be the shadow priest let's hit that button a lot I have Bum -bana. not sponsored by walmart either no i wish dude i have not been to walmart in like 10 years well actually i think the wife and i went once when we were back home just like uh like we had to go buy like a one thing i think it was probably like four or five years ago Used to live right next to Walmart almost though. In college, grad school, I lived like 30 seconds from Walmart. I would always go to Walmart. I loved it. Get cereal, go at like three in the morning, buy cereal. There's only weirdos at Walmart at three in the morning. I can tell you that it is everybody there was a weirdo. And yes, I was also there. <laughs> I, I am well aware of the what I'm saying. The 3 a.m. Walmart trips were great, man. I would buy uh, Captain Crunch and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. No and power. some milk, naturally. This guy's a little awkward, right? You kind of hate that. Uh, maybe we just stall for a minute. Just do our thing. Still, this 5-6 this is uh, really just a great way to deny most of my cards. Walmart's 24 hours? Uh, ours was. I don't know if all of them are. The one I lived in. Lived, lived in. <laughs> the truth comes out. The one I lived in was 24 hours, obviously. I lived there. Um, the one I lived next to was, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, okay. That's good. Actually, really good. I think we can go with weapons as we drew another one, right? We may want to equip that soon. I don't know if it's Bulwark or otherwise, but... 
I guess if it's Bulwark, maybe I hold this. It might actually be a little bit better to hold this. We might want to hit a minion or something. Ask Regis anything. Do you think if Blizzard keeps banning cards from Wild, we should receive dust refunds for them? As I think the other card they banned already annoyed Wild players who used resources on a card and got nothing. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised it wasn't already. I didn't realize it wasn't. I think it totally should be. Yeah. Not really red. Because how does Blizzard know if you crafted it for Wild or Standard, right? I've often said I, I, they, they historically were really bad about rewarding dust all the time. They've been a little bit better lately with stuff that's like sort of impacted. Like in the old days, when they nerfed the watch post, they wouldn't have given dust for, um, what's his name? Kargath? Kargal? Kargal? The dude? The watch post legendary dude? They wouldn't have given dust for that, but they did recently, so they're a little bit better, but clearly still not quite all the way there. Because I think banned cards should totally get refunded. Uh, oh, well, there is. Oh, well, Tremuti says it did get refunded. Oh, but it also got nerfed. Maybe it didn't get refunded because it was banned. It got refunded because it was nerfed. No, it didn't get nerfed. It got banned. I don't know. Well, anyway, they should. So if they did, great. If not, they need to. That's my take. Hot take. What are my thoughts about Garo Check Zara? Uh, I haven't done it yet. I don't know. We'll probably do it someday. Okay. Point Rabblegore. Let's freaking go. For bands and duels? Uh, they said wild. I don't know. Titanium Hawk. Do you have any, any follow up maybe? Oh God. Oh God. Oh boy. What have I done? I'd still rather have the rattle gore than have one than not have a rattle gore. This is really awkward to deal with. I'm, I can start pushing face now. Can just bulwark through that one. Like who cares? Oh no! Oh god! Never mind. Uh oh! <laughs> Scratch everything I said. This is still pretty big, honestly. Because Maybe I'm not that upset still. That that They're kind of low. Maybe the guy who has missed out on 200 dust because they didn't realize. Hargath is cool. Yeah. Another nice threat here. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. I yeah, I don't know. I didn't remember it all, so. Yeah, maybe it was timing or something that they that's why he didn't get it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Nice. No, not nice. Oh boy. Why do they have focused will? Why? Why? Do I need crush off this or do I just have to take that card draw? Because I just don't have a lot going on right now. I have not advanced quest hardly at all, and I need to because I need the damage. I need like the board and the damage if I'm gonna beat this rattle going. Um, okay, that's probably the best target. It's not like it's good against rattle gore. It's kind of decent, I guess, against Mutanis, but truly they start trading more, right? I'm surprised they went face with that last time. There's the trade. Okay, it's a good shield slam. Ah, there we go. Uh. It's not really the one I want to play, though. Uh, I really need to draw. So I think I'm going to Anchorman Ranker, of all things. I just need... I don't need Ranker. I need cards. Right? Okay, because I gotta get quest done soon and I don't have enough pirates right now. Uh, do I trade this? Is there any reason not to? This doesn't die to ping. Doesn't change face damage outs. 
Uh, does it change shiver their timber outs? I guess I hit it. I need. I need to get to. I need to get to Rokara. That's how I win, right? I need damage off Rokara. This guy's got more healing than I expected. He's also probably gonna have um, the Zoth. It looks like, right? Like there's light shower, mutinous. Oh, not one of my pirates. No, that's really problematic. Oh boy, that's bad. It's actually really, really bad. Man. Oh, this might be dead. Hold up. Did it die? Oh, it did. Oh, that was weird ordering. Oh, oh no, it wasn't weird. I just went fast. Okay. Keep pushing face so that Rikara gives me a win condition, right? But I still need two pirates. I really need a harbor scamp. I need a stage dive would be fine just to get me through the deck a little faster with Kargath. I'm worried about Nazoth into Light Shower and stuff. Oh, it is definitely Nazoth. There's Alex Raza too. Are you kidding me? Give me Harbor Scamp. Oh, yes. That finishes Rokara. Okay. Is every pirate cheap enough to play? Yes, it is. Okay. Just go Rokara here. Get the Juggernaut and try to find a, a, a window here to win, right? I think I just gotta leave these up. I'm very worried about Nazoth, but I have Brawl. Alex Shaza would want to die probably for Nazoth too, so they may just like want to trade the Alex first, and then that gives me maybe another turn. Ray's dead. Okay, they are still taking a ton of damage. I have some recovery here. I'm gonna get a big weapon maybe to go face. Lost a little healing on the Alex. That could matter actually for the ranker quite a bit. Hopefully, I just get Gorehouse, right? I just want Gorehouse, just whack face with Gorehouse, basically, is my path here. I do love Rokara, yeah. This is like my favorite kind of Hearthstone card, I think. Big, cool, like permanent effect. I like this vibe for the quest so much better than the Mage and Warlock ones, I guess. That ain't the weapon. That's a good little snipe, though, maybe. A good ranker now to draw. And clear that. Okay. We'll still go face, even with this tiny little baby weapon. They're gonna play the Zoth now, so I'll brawl. They'll have a 6-6, six, six, presumably, and another minion. Um Yeah. I just need enough Gorehouse. I don't know. Argath Prime will buy me some time. Oh, it's just Solmir. Really? Okay, again, yeah, not not too bad. It's pretty slow. Do they leave this up? Oh, no ping, of course. Yeah. This guy's a threat to me. I kind of need this to go away. Need that to go away. Hargath Prime, maybe? Oh, my God. I keep getting the worst low-pressure weapons, dude. Oh, I didn't even hit that either. Oh, man. Oh, that's just a dead draw, too. Wow. That sucks so much, dude. Oh. The two damage just whiffed, and they're gonna heal three again. Ugh, they might trade it in, but why? Why would you? I am out of stuff, dude. This, I need Rokara to put, Juggernaut, give me a Gorehal, dude. Give me a Gorehal, dude. Please. Oh, that just whiffs, okay. Them not pinging means that my charges here also deny max damage. I was a little bit worried I might lose, like, take seven for one, which might still be worth for the record, but... Okay. Good weapon, maybe? Oh, another garbage weapon, dude! Oh, I cannot catch a weapon break! If I use this, it puts me in fatigue sooner, but I think I have to. Could technically brawl first to try to get a 5-5. Five five. It's kind of interesting, but if they win, this doesn't have a target. 
But I don't really need it anyway if I go for the brawl. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the five fives after. What do you mean? Well, burst happens after. That's Super what I'm saying. I'll get a five five. Special. Said they'll get a five five. Rattlecore. I uh, maybe I said that. I don't know what you mean. I'm gonna brawl. I would love to win. If the 2 2 wins, I'm like beyond sad. I might have to Outriders Axe it. Okay, it did not win. And I won. Cool. I think we chilled then. All right. I need a Gore Howl, please. I have. Shiver the Timbers is uh, maybe not that bad of a draw, actually. It's just five damage to a minion. Cargat's great. Crash is okay. Crash isn't really that great of a draw either, to be honest. I might just have to use this to go face on a turn when I get a bad weapon again, you know? I gotta save this, I think, in case they have uh, Nazoth. Ah, oh, Renew's bad. Ugh. I can't win the race if they keep getting Renews and I keep getting two or one attack weapons. I feel like the weapon pool is just a little too weak for Rokara to be good, for Juggernaut to be good. Like, I feel like I constantly am itching to get a better weapon. I always feel like I need a better weapon than I get. And the pirates suck too. Okay, that's a better weapon at least. Marginally better pirate as well. Uh, let's just go face and hold this. Um, the Rattlegore can test the 3-3 either way, so I don't think that really matters much. I actually don't want to draw because I'm almost dead to fatigue soon. Might use this on a bigger threat later. I just need one Gorehow, man. Just want to hit for seven, dude. That's it. Give me the seven. This game is just so slow right now because I can't get the damage outs. I had a one attack weapon, a two attack weapon. Imagine if that was two Gorehows. They'd be dead almost. Game would be over. Shard. Are they just looking for an Azoth still? I feel like they have an Azoth still. Ugh. That's gross. Please give me. Oh, again, a one attack weapon. I can't catch a break, dude. I'm here for the gold. All right, this at least hits the big boy. Do I want that to happen, though? No, I need to wait. I can't. All right, let's just use this this turn then to push damage, right? I don't I don't think taking the extra off the rattle gore matters much. I'm going to heal 10 off the Kargath and presumably also eight off the crash. So let's just use this to push damage while we have the weak weapon equipped. Basically net two, because it's I, I don't want to draw off of it. It's going to be useless later, hopefully, if I get better weapons, right? So. Oh, car gap can guarantee that I get through that, but it's just another eight to heal through. Ugh. I hope I- Oh, finally a Gorehow! And a pretty decent minion, too! Oh my god, okay. Finally a Gorehow, the turn they heal for a million. Alright. <laughs> We've worked through this rattle gore. They just one shotted mine, and I've been putting in heat on this rattle gore. Okay, I'm down to one card. Oh, they heal 10 off another soul mirror! That's the third soul mirror! <sighs> Priests may not be good, but they are still annoying to play against. I, I don't think I can win now. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe still they get enough gore house. That's not a gore house. Uh, I can't brawl. It just gets me a one one, right? Like it doesn't actually draw me into fatigue. I can't use the brawl in case I need it later. I got to save the brawl. So. <sighs> okay. 
I mean, they might go to fatigue and I hit a gore howl and it just like lines up perfectly or something. I don't, oh my God. I, I, uh, another soldier. I, I mean, they just got another eight armor, right? I just can't. There's no way I'm getting there. There's just no way. Uh, I probably, these are raised deads, right? Is that what these are? So I probably have to. I probably have to wait on the brawl, but I think it'll be too late to matter. I think I'm just dead. They're, they're extra soul mirrors netted them an extra 18 armor and they're at 21, right? They got 10 off the car got, they got eight off the crash, remember? So, I mean, I would, oh no. Another soul mirror now doesn't even matter, but. They'd pretty much be dead if not for the uh, crazy soul mirrors, right? Okay, we probably got a brawl now. I really hope that doesn't win. I hope this wins, right? Or actually, I hope I win, I guess. Oh, these weapons, dude. I'm really not convinced that this is a great reward. If one more minion, do I have to wait a turn? Maybe I have to wait one turn. Maybe I have to wait one turn. <laughs> Play around the fourth soul mirror. Oh man. Yeah, you both have the same thought there, man. Now that they're taking fatigue, maybe they overcommit that next minion and I can brawl and I don't know. Maybe it took too much damage off this turn though. They don't commit the minion, it's sort of the same difference. Oh, are you serious, dude? I guess that's fine. I can actually armor through that fine. Okay, I need to win this. I just have to win this brawl or I'm super dead. Okay, that's actually a pretty weak result, but they get the weapon, so I don't know. I think I just don't have time, right? Hitting me for five per turn. I'm already down to 16. If I got the armor pirate a couple times instead of garbage two ones, if I got you know any gore howls there were probably a handful of paths out of this game but unfortunately we found the only ways to lose i think oh my god a gore howl it's still not enough i'm dead i'm just dead next turn oh <laughs> Hearthstone concocted the only path to me losing this game possible, I think. Man, that sucks. Uh, sir, imagine a circus amalgam once. Imagine a, a, a rush guy. I guess maybe that would have been kind of bad with draws, but imagine um, the armor guy one time, Stormwind Freebooter one time. Imagine a second gore howl I would have won the game at any given point, right? Imagine not getting four soul mirrors. Imagine any other line of scenarios. If we played that game a hundred times, I think I lose it once. Uh, ZSK, dude, thanks for the prime sub, man. It's really nice. Magni versus it's really sweet. Discover a pirate? Oh my god, that would be cool if you could discover a pirate. Or discover a weapon oh man that'd be sick i would like that yeah all right warlock we got a race we can't be too slow here we need quick pirates we need juggernaut asap armor helps but you know we're gonna hit a point where they just go nuts job's done maybe get a weapon for zero instead of equipping that's kind of a cool idea so you could keep up like a higher damage weapon for longer Add a weapon to your hand, it costs zero sort of thing. Yeah, uh, there's a few ways that this quest could feel better. Actually.
Maybe if it just said your opponent can only play three soul mirrors also would be fine. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's all the text it needs. Your opponent can only play uh, three soul mirrors in a game. True, true. If they play four soul mirrors, something's wrong. Probably not technically impossible, but I can't imagine how it would get there. He actually would have lost without the fourth soul mirror. Yeah, he healed eight off the fourth soul mirror. I mean, like, cleared the board, of course, but he healed 10 off the third soul mirror. He healed uh, 14 million off the other one. I don't know. The one gave him a Ravagor. Like, it was a risk for us to play the Ravagor, but I thought it would be fine. Like I said, it, it probably was. The Ravagor didn't beat us, right? It was it was actually not a big deal. It, it didn't help, but it didn't. You know, I think that was a risk worth taking, particularly because he's not going to have a main deck silence, which means, you know, he could, I guess. He did actually have that. Uh, maybe he had that shard. I don't know if he had that in the deck either, though. Regardless, the big Rattlegore return early feels like a good play. It's the four soul mirrors that beat you. It's the hope that kills you. If it was discover a pirate that would be more flavorful for Rokara commanding a pirate fleet. Yeah, I think there I think that sounds like a great solution too. I like those ideas. Okay, good pirates, good pirates. Good frenzy set up there. Actually quite a bit of pressure here as well. Another good weapon too. We're hitting really hard. Good board. We do stall a little bit here. Maybe, but there's a good trade on that. That could really help. I just need them to play any minion that trades well. Like the 2-5 or something. Tamsin, perfect, sure. A lot of heals here, unfortunately, but... Happy to just get this moving. That'll also deal two damage to the... Oh, we might have an accidental scenario where Tamsin eats the hit, though. Ah, uh, shoot. Because the 2 is going to go off here. Tamsin might eat the two, and this may not draw. I think we got to do this first. Hopefully I get, like, a harbor scamp or something. It's a little bit risky, though, because now these might get stranded again and not have anything to attack. I, I don't know. It's perhaps debatable. Even if these just die, they do draw off Sour Fang later, so just tempoing them is, is still not the end of the world. Plus, Warlock probably often chips through them with multiple instances of damage. Although there is the deal six thing, so maybe not. Why is Rattlegore in the deck anyway? I didn't think we would need Rattlegore, but this is the highest win rate control pirates on uh, on HS Replay. So currently, Rattlegore seems to be the smart play according to the data. I thought he was overkill with the Juggernaut, but having having played a long match now i'm not sure i believe that anymore i think he might actually just be a pretty good fit okay did it hit again or it might one might have oh nice snipes baby let's go that's good next turn we can finish get rokara i'm gonna start hitting face Juggernaut is one of the few random pools that's actually kind of bad right now. Yeah, no, it's true. Very accurate because low quality pirates everywhere. And it won't even really help to add good pirates, right? You need to actually just kill the bad ones. I also, I don't know. I, I feel like I've never actually gotten cargo guard off of it. Maybe we've just, you know, just variants or whatever. I feel like it's always that two one in particular. Seems to be the most common occurrence. Story, I think we're just going face, right? Check the health here. Make them scared to, to risk their health total, right? Make them have to heal some optimal lines, maybe. Still a pretty good board pressure, too. 
Yeah, Juggernaut feels very fair. Yep. I think it could summon you two pirates and it wouldn't be OP. Maybe that's a simple fix. Just two pirates. It's, they're, they're still passive. They're still sitting there. You know, they're not like creating a ton of instant pressure necessarily, right? Like your opponent still has plenty of time to react. Maybe if the pirate had rush. I, I don't know. Am I crazy? Is that the second? Tam why is there two Tamsins? Oh, raise that. Okay. That's why. Pretty reasonable reason why. Back to 23 just like that. Okay. Deal. All right, let's see if the Juggernaut can beat Quest Warlock. I just need Gorehouse, dude. Gorehouse. Just, I, I, do, I don't ever want anything but Gorehouse. I haven't really looked at the art of this up close yet. They don't have the full art posted on the site yet, so I can't get all the good art yet. This guy's art I don't want to see up close because this chest is really terrifying. Okay. For now, I'm pretty happy that, that he's taking damage if this, you know, goes off. It's going to get scary soon, but at the moment... Animations, dude. You can summon multiple juggernauts, yeah. That backfire... Fine. I was like, what's that three damage from? It took that long for the backfire to register. Damn. Uh, are they not going to deal with a 7-7? Seven, seven? Only two mana remaining here. I mean, well, I guess there's more, but health mana. Give me the gore howl. Still a 25, geez. Is quest done? Not quite. Okay, left up a lot. Uh... It's on the better side of the weapons, actually, finally. Oh, we just play Rattle or Go, right? Uh, yeah, let's let's make him get there quick. Okay. Mm, I don't think we make their life easy for finishing quest, right? There's some logic, I suppose. To forcing them to take more damage because that's alive maybe actually we do uh how likely are, are they gonna no then they could do too much to me now we gotta kill it they'll just they'll just tap and it'll be done and i'm gonna have enough anyway on board so assuming you know health total stay the same so i don't want to take 20 for no reason here i mean they only have three mana but if they had that thing they'd have you know pseudo infinite mana so yeah, this is the right call. Now they have another one of those. They probably have to pay for it, which maybe they can do if it's via blood, but um, maybe not too, right? They're just never dealing 42 from here, are they? Oh my God. Oh my God. If I die from 42 right now, <laughs> I am going to be done for the day, I think. Oh my god. The only way this was possible is that other one was a blood cost, right? I just like don't even want to watch this. I just like Are they just gonna run out of time? Last time we did this, the, the just the animated for ten minutes after the rope went through. So I don't know. I actually don't even have lethal right now, though. It's the bigger problem. Uh. I only have eleven, thirteen. 14. 
Can I just, uh, like, rank her and pray? There's Auctioneer, but... I bet I can just rank her and pray, right? Oh my God. Why do I feel like I got no time this turn, man? Weird, right? Oh, maybe that's actually wrong. I'm gonna take three instances of damage. I was thinking I'm gonna get a new weapon, but they have an auctioneer, but they only have five other cards. One of them's a minion. How much can they really deal this turn? You know? Okay, that was such a weird animation. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I denied that anyway. That's another Tamsin. Wow. My deck is okay. Why? I guess there's maybe not any spells for the auction here. The touch again, maybe? No, Mortal Coil again. Okay. But that's, that's probably second auctioneer always, right? But they don't have any way to do... They can only ever tap... Draw two cards per turn right now for fatigue. Oh, that's not an auctioneer. That's a touch. Okay, interesting. So, surely I can just win this race now, right? Uh, I just I can't lose from here, right? I can take the hit. Uh, I'm gonna summon a two-two here, but that's fine. Just doesn't matter. We know it's solved, right? They're, they're not obviously not dealing 60 damage here, so it's a solved entity here. They have touch. They can clear both taunts and go face or something, but just not enough. They can tap and draw again, but not enough. Cool. Okay, that was kind of scary. Where'd they play that auctioneer early and it was their only one? They could have really blown up a turn maybe with an auctioneer Tamsin at the end, but uh, they tempoed it early. I don't remember what they got out of the auctioneer previously. Maybe they were desperate. But yeah, we just actually out armored and outvalued them for once. Cool. That was a fun game. I was really nervous there at first, but they actually didn't have that much going on that turn. That was still scary though. Alrighty. Whoa, 1,000 viewers, guys. Holy crap. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out today. Man. Jeez, I didn't even notice that. Cool. Magni versus Rexa. My, the viewership difference I have between hype moments and not hype moments is actually crazy. The, the amount of hype viewership bonus I get is, is, like, for expansion launches and stuff, I get, like literally three times as many viewers as like a normal day i think most people obviously do better but i don't think they do like 3x better you know i think they gain maybe double if they're if they're lucky i think i gain like three to four times as much which is awesome i wish you guys would hang around later but i'll take you while you're here and hyped that's fine with me how is the expansion? Oh, it's, I think there's a lot of really cool designs and a lot of really fun stuff, but a lot of it is unfortunately probably being shut out by a couple frustrating decks. 
namely mage and, and warlock seem to be frustrating to play against maybe it's just dependent on what you're playing right but for my play, style of play where i like like slower grindier stuff definitely feels like um mage and warlock are generally quite good against those decks so you know for me it, it feels like i'm having a little bit of trouble doing the things i like to do if we play aggro i'm sure we maybe not think that but Ooh, deadly you turned dawn grasp into a fish huh that sounds fun hey doughboy with nine months oh my god doughboy thanks has hunter been bad no i think hunter's been okay not great but not bad uh, Hunter, when we looked at HS replay earlier, was like chilling at, um, I don't know, tier quest. Well, Face Hunter was really good. Quest Hunter was like tier two, tier three, maybe tier three. Yeah, tier three. Curve's a little wacky, but we'll take it. Would have been the perfect sword oh, eater turn. Kilbin, I love quest Nanzu Warlock. It's super fun. The most okay, fun like that. I That's good against Hearthstone Hunter. Demon Hunter as introduced in Ashes of Outland. Yeah, no, I I also enjoyed the fatigue warlock stuff a lot too. It's I think it's probably fun to play. It just shuts out control, so. If you're playing control, you're probably not having fun, but if you're playing the deck, I think it's really fun. Oh, really? Oh, that's still important. Sure. Great, Stone Ball. We're staying like one step ahead here nicely so far. Oh, double Harbor Scamp's insane. Okay. Oh, natural Olgra. Jeez. They might have played, uh, what's his name anyway, so maybe it doesn't hurt, but. Koto Bane might have killed that regardless. Probably go in here and... I don't know. We're not really going to kill that easily. Deal 2 is not very good there. Let's just see if we can get Rokara. I, I don't know, though. I'm like taking damage, dude. I need to not take a 3-7 for free here, basically. And we'd be fine. Shield Slam's not good either yet. Ugh. In the box? Sword Eater could disrupt that. That's actually pretty good. We still go face here, I think. Unless that hits it twice. No, it just hits it once. Okay. If that hit twice, I think we would have killed. But so uh, I can actually play Rokara next turn. I don't know if it'll be right. Um, we may want to like stabilize a little more before committing that, because currently I think we're not really winning this race. It's kind of close. It's 20 to 23. I could bait a race and then like bail out with a ranker Barov to like stabilize some health as a sort of a surprise, but their deck is way more capable of burst damage than mine, so that seems a little bit risky. Because also they're just not that like enough boards, so in many cases I guess I'd probably just die because they never like developed a board out of that. I don't know if I want to go that route. Overwhelm only. Okay. It's not too bad. I actually might have windows for Rokara here. Let's see what happens with this remaining mana. Looking for an aim shot, I bet. So unlikely to find anything specific at three. Oh, no, they're at four. Never mind. Not oh, no way! That's so good! Are you serious? That's so good. Um. Look at this fool not running Baku in his wow, that seems so good. format, best format. Okay, I think we'll go Bulwark. I need to like chill into a crash at some point. Ooh, like go cargo, but that doesn't really have a good follow up. Bulwark gives me a turn to accrue armor, maybe. For a shield slam recovery. Uh, I could shield slam my own crash as well. I'm desperate, right? 
I guess that's probably the best way I actually have to do it. I don't have a ranker right now, so. Uh, <laughs> dude, I actually really wanted to play. I honestly thought about playing uh, odd pirates, odd control pirates in wild. If I couldn't find a good control pirates list in standard, I was going to play control pirates in wild. Thankfully, this list is, is doing all right for us, so. I think we've solved the problem there, but I really, really was considering it. Oh man, I don't know, dude. For one special. Part of me wants to go here and just heal for six, but I also want to test the secret. You know, I, I'm assuming it's always explosive trap. It seems like it always is. Yeah. Maybe I should have played the crash first then, but I just wanted to see what was happening. You know, I wanted to get greedy. Now I regret my greed. Like I really want to do this. I think it'll be okay, right? I'm at 15. This puts me at 18. I think it's going to be okay. It's really risky, but I think they have so few cards. I think it's going to be okay. If I get if I get really desperate next turn, I can still probably shield slam the crush, right? I think we'll be all right. Oh, he's pinging a minion. Okay. That's, if this thing nets seven health, that is a home run, I think. I'm really not even like worried about this turn so much as like the turn after this next turn. That's why I'm worried we might die. Tracking. Okay. I think we might go bear off ranker this turn. Just heal for eight. I don't want to run this in face though to see what we get, right? You kind of assume freezing trap a lot of the time, I suppose. Oh man. It's actually heal. It's actually heal even more than eight usually. Let's test the freezing trap here. Hack tactics actually good for me because I get the seven and I still get to bear off ranker. And that's just a ridiculous amount of damage through to the face. Finally, a good pirate, dude. We're back to 25. I still have crash, but I can't shield slam the crash anymore. So that's kind of a kind of a note. Uh, I could ranker the crash if we drew that. I could sour fang later. Okay, that's a lot of damage, unfortunately. Drew three, so you got an aim shot, a something. I don't, God knows what. Man, am I gonna get that? Do I have enough damage? Dude, I'm gonna lose again, aren't I? Oh my God. Them chipping my armor is actually good for the crash, believe it or not, weirdly. Cause now I can shield slam crash. But is eight gonna be enough? I may be dead on board if I go that route. Oh my God, this is so much damage, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> They still have so many cards in hand. That's garbage. That's utter garbage. Oh, Ranker! Crash Ranker's insane! I leave up the 4 6, but that's probably just something I gotta accept, right? Back to 23. So, this is a spell. This is probably a spell. This is an idiot 1-1. One, one. This is maybe a spell. So we're looking at like eight damage off the spells and the hero power and four is... Tw oh, lock and load. No! <laughs> be minions, please. Please, God, be minions. Oh, please, God, be minions. It has to be minions, right? It needs to be minions. I actually need this to live too, so I have a lethal even. Be minions lock and load. Is this attacked yet? Is this attacked yet? He doesn't have it. Two mana's not enough, right? It's minions. Oh my god. Oh! So scary, dude. Oh, good. Good dude again. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're just barely hanging into this deck, dude. 
<laughs> but it's winning. It's winning. It's barely hanging in, but it's winning. That's all that matters. Control pirates for the win. Uh, okay, actually, uh, I, I think I got enough cool games there for YouTube. That was three pretty fun games. Like three really seat of our pants games. Um... So that said, uh, let's see. What do we do? We did we did the Hunter Ace Rogue. We did Control Pirates. We did Meme Guff earlier. That was awesome. What do I want to play next? What class have I neglected so far? Any class I haven't done a lot with. We did a lot of Demon Hunter. We did some Druid. We did... Haven't done much Hunter, but I'm not that intrigued by Hunter. Paladin... Warlock, we've done much because we've been everybody's playing so much Warlock. We haven't done much Priest, but well, we did Shadow and Quest Priest. I don't know, we kind of did Priest. Uh, let's see. Any other cool decks on HS Replay that are, like, underrated, maybe, or under-spotlighted? I haven't done Hand Buff Paladin since the expansion hit, like, the good Hand Buff-looking Paladin list, but it's pretty close to what we played beforehand, so I don't think it's distinct enough to be excited about. I kind of want to do a Scabs Bounce Rogue. I want to bounce as many Scabs as I can. This is a list from Fino that's just Quest Rogue. Like, just a good Quest Rogue, I think. I want to tweak this a little bit and put in more bounces. I want... I want to play scabs like five times just for fun, you know, just just because we can. So, for instance, like we have two shadow steps already, right? That's a good start. Um, we can add. What else? Uh, Potion of Illusion, Youthfuls. We got 10 woos. So that's actually a third one already. Uh. Is it just youthfuls? Maybe it's just youthfuls. <laughs> Lieutenant Eddie's in the house. He says, he says, add another tin woo. Oh boy, I could if I could run a deck of thirty tin woos, you better believe I would. I love the pandas. I love the pandas. Yeah, let's go youthful too. Youthful is actually kind of interesting in this deck anyway. It's really good with informant or not informant. Good with assassin. Maybe actually kind of sleeper good anyway. Infinite scabs. Or no, here, I know. I have so many scabs. <laughs> That's the video name too, I think. I have so many scabs. All right, this actually should be really fun. I like bouncing quest rewards a ton. Hey, Lad Biscuit, dude. Thanks for the prime sub. Guys, I got about... 45 minutes left today before I'm going to hop off. Uh, I got to go get more videos done and I uh, got to go eat dinner with a wife. She's making chicken parm. It's going to be so good. I freaking love chicken parm. Chicken parmesan. Okay. I worry uh, Mage is going to own us, right? Like we got cult neophytes in here, but yeah, I feel like does this deck go hard enough to beat mage? I don't know. We'll try. Best arena class? Man, I have no idea. I don't you need to go ask dreads or somebody. I don't know. I haven't played I haven't touched arena in like three years. <laughs> I don't even know the last time I played uh played arena. Strictly need to know. Wife's chicken parmesan so good, dude. So crispy. 
It's hard to get crispy sometimes. Hers is just delightfully crispy. Uh, only non-tempo one here. I was gonna restealth this bad boy. I was gonna play a 3-2. I was gonna play a 2-3. I was gonna equip a weapon and attack. And <laughs> literally anything but this. Sucks. Guys, I gotta say, I feel like Guff Quest Druid has been one of my favorite decks to play today. Or so far. I really liked the bouncing all the Guffs. That was really cool. Oh, I attacked face, man. I can't use this very easily now. I guess we just trade it. Eh. We tempo just to make these cheaper. Just to advance quest. Like, all this feels so bad. Yeah. I don't know. Can't even uh, destroy anything right now. Why just tempo the four mana four four? Again. This is clunky, dude. I need card draw. I need Greyheart Sage. Need Swindle. Look, we got a very card draw light hand. <laughs> Shadow Step, really, dude. Give me something useful here off this gizmo, man. Oh my god, for real, dude? These gizmos suck! <laughs> They're bad! <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these? Oh, worst gizmos, man, ever. No, no combo off tradable. Tradable is not playing a card. Combo is specifically trading. I mean, playing a card. A bonus if you already played a card this turn. Sadly, it doesn't work. Oh, boy. All right, uh, I'm gonna get the gizmo here, or I mean the scabs here, so. Target eliminated. That'll finally fill my hand with some useful stuff. But I don't have a bounce on it. I mean, I it's probably okay, but kind of wanted to bounce it a lot. That was the whole point of this deck, you know? Uh, Let's go here. Okay. Uh, maybe for combustion, I put that in the middle, but it doesn't really matter. Not likely. Hey, look, more fizz flashes, dude. Oh my god. If you could use these on your own minions, they'd be just amazing, but sadly, you can't. I haven't really looked at the art on these, but they're pretty sweet. Okay, leave it alive so I can bounce it, please. Give me a bounce, game. I don't need a bounce. I mean, I, I'm just going to have a handful of fizz splash distractors if I bounce the scabs anyway. I don't know what the point of that is. I'm going to have eight of these in hand by the time this game is over. The opponent plays like no minions. Oh, scabs is dead. I mean, why am I even playing right now? What, what, I'm not doing anything in this game. I'm never going to be able to win this, right? Maybe if I get some giant SI7 informants or something, like that's the only way I'm going to win this game. Even that feels like impossible somehow. I don't want them having any of this. I, I, they're all good for them. I don't know. Eliminated. It all sucks for me, man. Here we go. 
Okay, can I get somehow enough damage? I need secret passage. I need this to stick. I mean, they're gonna have so much spell damage, they just clear this anyway. What, what difference does it make? <laughs> like, they're definitely just gonna kill it. Um... Yeah, what do I get? I get, uh, I get... Secret passage into informant, maybe? Maybe they somehow can't freeze or kill the informants. Maybe get secret passage into wicked stab. Plus, I, I just don't have any damage left. SI shadow step and wicked stab are it. Tenwu SI is it. It's just running out of damage. What to do? What to do? Feels like we're just moving towards inevitability. It's cute they're even bothering to hit my minions. I mean, I appreciate that. That's nice and sweet of them. Just even going to the trouble to hit my minions, man. How cool. Okay, actually, actual value for Fizz Flash. And this, too, is actual value. Okay. They've got barriers, so that's going to be a pain, but... This guy's toast. Nothing personal. Here we go. So I did a couple points of damage this turn, technically. That's cool. They're at 20. This is only gonna ever be 12 max. I just can't get there. I should concede to facilitate the speed of losing this matchup. They're taking a long time to win. Proven myself. I demand answers. A long old time to win. <laughs> oh shoot, I can trade too. Hold up. Uh, SI7 informant? Foxy fraud again. Gross. Here we go. I already attacked. Is there any reason not to tempo these? I mean, there's no reason to tempo them, but. To make a wager, to make a I'm basically on a secret passage or nothing out, right? Swindle, I can activate with this now. So, <laughs> next turn they can go up to plus six spell damage. <laughs> if they do, I'm gonna bounce it again. And <laughs> then they can go to nine. I'll let them have some fun at least. I'll let them enjoy themselves. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Don't kill me too quick. I want you to get your cool plus nine spell damage, bro. Don't kill me too quick here. Here we go. Okay. Play it and I'll give you plus nine. I promise. I'll let it go. I'll uh, give you the dream. <laughs> <laughs> if I had more, I'd give you more. Play it again. Play them again. Do it again. Yes, I want to bounce it again. Don't kill me yet. Don't kill me yet. I want to bounce it again for you. No, don't wait. No, you're going to kill me. No, I'm going to give you the dream. The dream! Oh, yes. Let's see if they play ball or not. <laughs> Let's see if they play ball or just kill me. No, don't kill me with that. That's garbage. You want to get plus nine, remember. Remember, you want to get plus nine. Wait a turn. Just wait a turn. Play ball. Don't kill me yet. Get yourself the plus nine. If I can't have fun, I'm gonna make sure you have the most fun possible. Don't do it, don't you kill me. You know you wanna play for nine, come on. Oh yeah, oh no, they're BMing, no! Why don't you go for nine? You know I'm not gonna deal 20 damage with an empty hand. No fun. No fun. What's going on here? The DC, what's up? What is this? What's happening? 
Arson, what are you doing? Arson. Get it together, Arson. You're losing it. Hey guys, when does Lawn Mowing Simulator come out? <laughs> what a transition. Uh, I want to really play Lawn Mowing Simulator. But I don't know how much it costs either. Is it expensive? You know, I want to kick off my um, variety streaming life as I move more and more into variety streaming. I want to kick it off with a real home run AAA title, you know, like a real legacy game. Lawn Mowing Simulator comes out August 10th. We're less than a week away, baby. How much is it though? Face the might of the frost wolves. Watch your How much does it cost? Doesn't say. There's a demo. Alright. Imposter's good. Okay. Swindle's pretty nice. Shadow step we can work with. I love that the friend's sound effects just going to be there for the rest of this game. Why do you guys keep asking? You just Many of you are saying, what about? And then listing a game that I've already played. I don't understand the, the point of the questions. What about them? I don't know what that means. There's like three people who said, what about? And then listed just games I've played. I'm happy to discuss whatever you're asking, but I don't know what that means. What to do? You don't pick the ones. Euro Truck Simulator does seem like it's such an awesome classic sort of game. Go face, probably not. Do I think Valheim will have legs? I think it already sort of has. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, most people got like 100 hours out of it. I don't know if it's going to be like a game people play forever. You know, it's not sort of the kind of game I expect to have like a long lifespan. I, I think it's already gotten far more than people ever dreamed out of, you know. Kind of cool to lose this, aren't I? Yeah, let's just let's just chill and lose it here. Yep. Uh. Chelom, are you saying you want me to play more Baldur's Gate 3? I, I'm tr I still don't actually understand what you're getting at. You're like dancing around something here. You're like judging the amount I played it, I guess. I don't understand. Are you just, you want me to play more to say, Regis, are you going to play more Baldur's Gate 3? Is that what you're getting at? This whole line of questioning has been very confusing. Trying to, trying to sort out what you mean is, is throwing me for a loop here. This guy's I might play more Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, it's a game I would definitely go back to closer to release to answer what I think you're getting at. Now that I understand what you mean. Yeah, that's totally the kind of game I would go back to probably. We barely, like, we just went through the intro and that's it. Subnautica, I've played the first Subnautica a ton. I love Subnautica. That was amazing. I have not played the newer thing, the, the cold weather Subnautica that came out recently. Uh, yeah, I played Valheim for like. We, we put in a good like eight ten hours on stream i think of valheim it was super fun i made it to the third like region and then just stopped it's too too much work i didn't try new world but it looks pretty cool uh i don't think i have time to commit to an mmo right now but it looks pretty cool i would love to eventually commit to an mmo big time but i don't think new world's the one 
it would be like riots when it comes out in eight years or something stole it out on below zero it's disappointing wow really i hadn't heard much about it but that's sad Awaits you in the ashes. Okay. I could imagine the loop of Subnautica like not being as enthralling the second time around, right? Like Subnautica, uh, it feels feels like you're just enveloped in that world and sort of exploring it is this really unique experience the first time. The second time, it would kind of feel like plopping back into an experience you maybe already had. You know, I could see that. And they are overloaded like crazy next turn. I'm still just taking big wax here. We got to go neophyte on this. Question is, do we go for SI plays or do we go for more neophyte plays? Is one enough? One might be enough, actually. This guy's Let's go for SI plays. I take that back. I don't know. This just doesn't really feel that good. Let's go here. I really should have hit face then. I kind of screwed up here. Their magic. Kind of screwed up here, I think. This goes to one. Man, if I'd bounced this, I actually could have played that too. I don't like what I did with this turn at all. Um. Yeah. Here we i guess a lightning bolt's not lethal so i'm okay but i just don't have enough to win next turn like i didn't set up a victory you know what i mean like i'm just still gonna die the turn after this turn i needed to do way more damage and did nothing basically uh nature waits for no one. New World just got delayed? Really? I thought they had like a good beta, it seemed like. Oh, Surprised they. This is for me? They got a quest rope? I like it. I think it's pretty fun. It's solid, but not amazing, you know? But it's really fun. Yeah, see, I just don't have any lethals here. I can't stop the weapon. I can't. I can't kill. I have nine. 13 this is two more it's just not enough i wonder right td yeah that's that's what i was always surprised when they said like the Zero was like a, a sequel i thought it, i always thought it was just gonna be like a dlc expansion of sorts uh, a lot of good stuff about games, guys. I'm sorry, I can't read all this while also playing um, Hots Friday with Bill and Dexter. Oh my god, I would love to play Hots one day a week with somebody like other streamers. That would be so fun, dude. Other Hearthstone streamers? Oh my god, I love Hots. I would probably own, to be honest, if I... I would need a week or two to get good again, but if they... If they if they are somebody who hadn't played Heroes much... I used to play an ungodly amount of Heroes. I was basically Legend level in Heroes also. Watch like Hearthstone. Also not like pro level. You know, competent legend player in heroes, much like Hearthstone. Yeah, I heard about the New World uh 3090 stuff, but that seemed like uh something that was already fixed instantly. Like it sounded like they knew what was happening and Fix that almost immediately. Like to too late, obviously. <laughs> Fried a bunch of graphics cards, just awful. But uh, I didn't play any Pokemon Unite, but I would love to. It looks so freaking fun, dude. I don't even have a Switch, but it. I. I would. I think I would love it, dude. It, it looks like an accessible MOBA, like Heroes, like a, a, an accessible but with depth MOBA, just like Heroes was, and I loved Heroes for that quick matches like a lot of that is it seems like the next evolution of mobas but unfortunately it sounds like it was really has some monetization issues which sucks 
He did not dodge the monetization problems of mobile games, sadly. Yeah, 10 minutes guaranteed for matches is really cool for for uh, Pokemon. That's pretty neat idea. Have you no respect for the dead? Oh. Uh, I do know of MF Pally time. Yeah, I, I actually watched one of his videos playing uh, Pokemon. Oh, boy, this is not big enough yet, dude. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I think it's right, though. Yeah, I just get to play for the gizmo here on curve. I gotta say, this quest room, I, I barely changed anything of this list that's supposed to be a pretty good list, and so far it doesn't feel great. I, uh, I'm a little disappointed so far. I feel like I have a lot of awkward turns. A lot of things aren't flowing. Big old pack mules. Okay. Just kind of hoping to bounce this guy, but uh, can't value trade now that there's taunts in the way. So that's annoying. Oh boy. Okay. I think we just tidy these up then. Hey, lights out. This is probably the weakest of the gizmos for me right now, honestly. Well, I don't know. The two, three guys probably weaker, actually. I can't remember what we took out. I can't either. <laughs> I think it's got a scabs and uh, an SI7 informant. And put in two youthful brewmasters. I didn't make a, you know, I don't think either of those were fundamentally important. Scabs is probably a, a nice tempo swing sometimes, but not, you know, fundamental to the deck's success, probably. But it still definitely feels like uh, we're kind of falling behind here. So trade here. Play this guy. Could bounce this to make it bigger and move quests forward, but it's still not a lot of quest movement. I do like the heal on it, I guess. It's a pretty nice heal. Wish I had something better to do with my last two mana, but... Uh, I, yeah, I guess that's not that strong, all things considered, right? Here we go. It's not bad by any means, but I think the damage on the other two is scarier for trades and stuff. Okay. I got a little counter tempo, but I still feel like I'm really far behind, honestly. I feel like one good rush trade on the 7-7 seven seven and I'm basically out of the game. I can hopefully either hit an SI off the top that's cheap enough for scabs or I don't know, I guess like SI7 extortion would be perfect. Even off Secret Passage, I could still extortion, clear a minion, play a scabs, have a pretty good next turn. I think we'd be all right. <laughs> the weakest part of this deck are the cards. <laughs> Uh, I've never felt a more true story in my life. Hey, what did I say? I'm, I'm rush me to trade. I feel like I'm behind. What do you know? Pretty much worst case scenario too. Clean value trade that discounts and retains value on board. Couldn't be much worse, honestly. I think we have to stab that too, maybe. Do we have to stab that or do we... Uh... Yeah, I think we do. I, I'm still going to Secret Passage after... Because all the SI7 cards are playable. Okay, Extortion's actually still fine. 
Man, I would love. Oh man, oh. I can't. I would love the scabs and shadow step right now, but I can't. Do I shadow step this three two? Is the question, right? Doesn't really do anything. I just don't love the shadow steps being in the deck. Is what I'm thinking about, right? Maybe I shadow step it once just to get it out of range of this or something. I don't know. Still feels pretty bad. Mm, it's the weakest. It's I don't love the taunt, but it is the weakest. So I don't want them getting a roam. I'll tell you that. So what is the wing condition? Uh, just tempo. Rogue's wing condition is always just tempo into damage usually. Sometimes it's damage into damage, but yeah, this one's just tempo into damage. May the light. Try to have quest freeze with Nazoth. It felt like the worst deck I've played in years. <laughs> really? I think that's just because the meta right now is very poorly uh, set up for that particular matchup, right? I buy that. Mage and Warlock own that right now, so. Ooh, okay. We can bounce this and get rid of it, get rid of the hand buffs for a bit. We can shadow step scabs probably to get enough value. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 wrong guy, wrong guy, whoa, wrong guy. Wrong guy. Could actually go ahead and stealth the scabs for now and shadow step it next turn so that I can take a trade on it. Because you kind of assume this is going to live, right? So maybe set it up to take a trade next turn. And then go from there. I really need the... Uh, oh, good God. I really need the assassins right now, dude. I really need assassins. I can bounce the, the variant again, though. Um, oh, I got to shut us up scabs first, though. So that sucks. Um, I mean, I, I have to, right? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'd love to be able to attack. That having taunts really tough. Ugh. So many. Options. If I secret passage into assassin, I would be stuck anyway because I couldn't. I couldn't get another scabs regardless. So. Okay. Got to do this, I guess. I can't just sit here. Stormwind. I can't just sit here. Stormwind needs me. So we know we can play that other rush again, which is not ideal. It's not terrible. Hopefully I don't die to like damage here. This is deciding what he burns. So I just want to burn something good. I don't know. The conviction's scary, but not yet. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, I forgot I was playing a second one, so the second one, I, I burned the roam, which he doesn't actually need, I guess, but also just doesn't matter, I don't know. Do I have enough damage now? Uh, probably not, but I can actually bounce again because of the scab bounce. So, I mean, because of the youthfuls. Let's see what I get here. Oh, actually, that may change my ability to play stuff off the scabs. Can I take, can I go to two? I can, right? I can go to two. They don't have direct damage, do they? Oh, they might have a weapon. But their weapon. They don't run a weapon, right? Do they get a consecration, maybe? I want to send the nine face, so which means I need to. Oh, God, I'm not done. Here we go. Oh, God, I took too long to think about it. Oh, God. 
Oh god, please. Oh god, please. Give me the fizz flash. Give me the fizz flash. Actually insane turn. Okay, I may be dead. I don't know. Hopefully there's nothing that kills me with charge or weapon damage. I think their weapons are just the zero attack weapons. <sighs> okay, this is a real gamble. But I'm now set up to win, right? So it may be a gamble that pays off. I mean, they may mm. be able to clear enough again with rush, but I have 12... I don't know. I don't think they have two. I still don't have lethal. I have 12. I can probably secret passage into some lethals. Mm. Uh, I may play true silver just to heal, right? I can still get the damage off the weapon anyway. So putting myself to four could help a little bit against certain stuff. Who knows? Okay, they're healing too, so definitely don't have lethal now. Really, it's not too heavy. I need to find an SI7 assassin at some point, man. It's insane how I haven't found an assassin yet. Oh my god, that is so much stats. Oh, there we go. There's an assassin. Okay. So let's do this and see what gets hit. Hopefully, like the 3 3 or something with a meaningful breakpoint, right? Probably gotta go here. 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 Do I bounce scabs again? Drink with me, friend. I think so, right? Give them something useless here, hopefully. Toolkit's pretty weak at this stage, I guess. Okay. A little disruption, a little... Uh, disruption could actually kill me if things go really poorly. If they, like, cast a hand of a doll, and then it turns into, like, uh, yeah, I don't know, a, a wicked stab going face or something. <laughs> I think wicked stab only does two in that case, but you know what I mean. Um... The hand of the king. Okay. I'm actually kind of running out of like counter tempo. Scabs, of course, gives me a little. Like I can push the tail in back and stuff, but I don't have a ton. I have lethal with scabs. 6, 10, 12. Uh, only if I can hit wicked stab off the secret passage. So no. I don't yet. I can't just sit here. Storm wind needs me. Let's fizz flash for now. Do I just have to trade these the guys in? Here we go. Or maybe one of them anyway. I don't think I dig yet, because I think we're still in a good spot. Oh, I should have attacked here first, maybe. I'm not drawing, so. What do I get? Oh, Blessed Goods? Is that worth it? No. Let's stick to the plan. Okay. This game is weird, dude. This game is real weird, dude. Do I have any bounces left for scabs? Oh my god, those are so big now. Oh, crap. Those are so big now. SI7 agent. This is expensive, though. What do I even hit here that's good? Assassin is very good. A cool fate awaits you in the ashes. Greyheart Sage sucks. 
crap. Do I have lethal right now? Can I figure out a lethal here? Like hit, 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 hit. Oh my god. So many options. I feel like there has to be a lethal here soon. I just need assassin, dude. Oh my god, I didn't hit assassin. Oh no, dude. I really need assassin. I'm gonna end up throwing because I'm digging for assassin and it's not here. Uh I didn't hit it! I didn't hit assassin? Are you serious? Oh, this does this hit me assassin? Guaranteed? Please? Oh, I didn't hit it again. Oh my god, dude. I hate this game right now, man. <sighs> All I had to do is hit assassin to clear this. And I go face for nine and it's just over. Oh my god. Stab was lethal. How? It's only six. He's at eight. What do you mean? Oh, stab this, maybe? Oh, stab here. Hit, stab, attack. Yeah, it was lethal. Yeah, you're right. Shoot! Hit, go to f one. Stab the minion and hit for nine. Yeah, shoot. I was so focused on assassin. It was, like, almost guaranteed to draw. By the time we secret passage through, we swindled into a 50-50 and still missed it. Oh. Man, what a frustrating game. This deck is like hard to figure out. Uh, I got seven minutes left. Uh, I don't, we don't have really time to do that. Let's play. Uh, let's play one quick game of. Uh, let's try to get this off one more time, then I got to go. I think opening with a double uh, stealth draw guys there was wrong. I, I, I don't know. I didn't want to open a secret passage, though, because that was rough, too, because you lose options, right? You don't have any choices afterwards. Arana versus Rexa. My fang and claw. Okay. Fellfire in hand. That's good. Oh, double Fellfire we don't need. Now we just look for ways to tutor into Lady Prester. Skull in a weird spot because I need to keep the Fellfire there, but Tusk is good because that gets us a Prester. That's nice. If you haven't seen this deck, uh, you can check out the YouTube video. This is an infinite damage demon hunter. You just uh, try to find Prester, try to find dragons, and go to town. Oh, Talon already, so we don't need the Tusk Fiercer anymore. Interesting. Well, doesn't hurt. Kind of drew all the stuff we need already. That's cool. I will now just need card draw for post, uh, post Prester. And then we need Koldara Drake, of course. That's the hard part, really. Uh, let me find a raid ready to go before I, uh... Head out to eat dinner here. <laughs> Do we have any other death rattles? We shouldn't. We want to tutor Talon, so. Hopefully not. That would be bad. Can he do it again? I'm, I'm open, so I'm tired, though, dude. My neck and shoulders are hurting bad again today. I thought I fixed my problem, but Please my head's too fat. Oh. Another dead eye. I don't really need more of those, but... Okay. Coin Talon is fine. We're going to need Prester on six, then as much card draw as humanly possible. Until we find Kuldarjik. It's my hair? Yeah. 
I got big fat hair, big fat head, big fat beard. Tiny little beady eyes, though. How did I end up with the tiny little beady eyes? Hey, I'm gonna die to trampling randos here before I ever get pressed her down, aren't I? Can swing on the rhino back, but it's just gonna murder me. It's just dealing a insane amount of damage here. This is gonna be a real uh, hot take, but I think Face Hunter needs to be nerfed. Ooh, Armor Vendor might just be enough to save me. I doubt it, but maybe. Prester, I, I just need one turn, right, to find the to find the Koldara. So if if Prester can get down here and I'm not dead the turn after, although I probably am, because he's just gonna Rhino again. <laughs> It's just another rhino, so I'm probably still just dead. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna deal another four here. Yeah, I am dead. Okay, well, GG, I guess. All right, I gotta go though. I don't have time for another one. So let me drop a raid. I will be back tomorrow. We'll do more decks tomorrow. We might actually squeeze in a duels run tomorrow if I'm feeling up to it, or maybe a wild or something. I don't know. We might mix it up. I uh, still want to play more standard, of course. We still got a lot of decks to make and test and goof around with, um, including probably more of that bounce rogue. I think there was something there. We just gotta gotta go at it again. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Let me drop a raid. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for the bits and subs and follows and all that cool stuff. Thanks for um, hanging out ton of views so appreciate that always and uh i'll see you guys soon love you be safe out there be nice thanks for watching and until next time game on